Hey guys, welcome back to a special edition of both the Old World Fanatics and War Dollies podcasts. Uh, we've got ASB here who is madly painting for Castle Assault uh, and got my own Andrew here from Old World Fanatics. We are all attending Castle Assault 2024 this weekend down in Newcastle, Australia. Um, and I know last year ASB did a monster bloody mammoth. What was that one or two night review of the lists and matchup last year for the Six Ed tournament? Didn't you ASB on yours? Was that one episode or two yeah. or something you did? No, one one episode, and then one like there oh. was. I think it was seven seven hours total, three hours for the list review, and then four yeah. hours and twenty minutes to break Josh's um, podginity uh, on the uh, the um, basically the wrap up of of the oh, event. Oh, that's what it was. Yes, okay, yeah. that's right. <laughs> that's funny. I'm surprised he didn't like get turned off and didn't want to do old world fanatics after a four hour episode. <laughs> Uh, we, we go relatively quick. Ours are usually about two hours, so that's okay. <laughs> that's, Touch wood. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, like I said, uh, I know ASB is, uh, yeah, heaps kind mate to jump on. And I know you've got a little one and you're struggling not only with little kids and also trying to finish an army, but at least get it to a, a tabletop stand by the look of it. So mm. thanks heaps for that. I'll do my best at reading out stuff because I know you can't see lists, but I'm assuming... With your prep, you've done a – well, maybe. I don't know. How much prep have you done, ASB? Usually you'll write into looking at everyone's lists and not as much time these days. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I've looked at every list, but yeah. I haven't done my uh, my second, like – so I've done the first part, which is look at every list, but I haven't I haven't gone through and made notes on them all. I have on my first yeah. matchup. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I, I, have you? <laughs> Uh, do we do, we, nice. do we release that spoiler of that little gem right now? Do we? Uh... Uh, I, I may have done that on the podcast, but we can leave that. Well, we, it won't be too far along in the lists here anyway. Probably that'd be funny. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. So uh, while while we're doing yeah. that though, I'm going to prep my other screen here. Yeah. So we thought um, we'll run through. I've got a couple of screens. I can switch between the lists and basically the matchups. We'll try go. I mean, we don't want it to take all night, so we will. I'm sorry if people are listening to this and we skim through their list or we even skip the whole matchup. It's not because we don't care. It's because we're doing this on the fly with no prep and doing our best, I guess. So don't, uh, hopefully don't take offence. Um, and to be honest, that's why I'd invited ASB too because he knows way more about these things than I do um, and probably more about it than Andrew, even though Andrew's got the most broken ST list apparently. Um, <laughs> by the rankings. So, uh, that's funny. Anyway, here is the current breakdown. I'm not going to obviously go all through it, but I'll just keep bringing it back up for reference. So first up, we have, uh, and just butt, butt in, guys, if you, uh, if you, if I've missed anything or whatever. Um, we've got Aaron Paul. Man, I can't even read. That's too small on my screen. Aaron Paul versus Gary Morris, and they are taking. I'll bring that up here. Uh, ogres, so Aaron's taking Ogres versus Gary's uh, Lizardmen. So we've got a legacy yeah. Renegade faction off um, on table one, actually. It is table one, uh, which yeah. is kind of funny. What do you guys know about those two armies, Ogres and Lizardmen in general? <laughs> oh, a little bit on Ogres. I'm, I'm not too great on Lizardmen. Right. But the, yeah, I think <clears throat> I was going to say, does he have a Stonehorn? Uh, yeah, hang on, the stone horn. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I was going to say, like, what's it called? The big uh, Thunder Tusk Riders. That's the other version of it, isn't it? Yeah, so you've got like the, the tyrant on stone horn seems to be the sort of, you know, if you want to use that word that I don't like that much, yeah. the meta. Um, meta, yeah. <laughs> yeah, seems to be the, you know, the sort of, um, yeah, the, the top tier character set up. Um, I, I think Ogres probably struggle a little bit in the current realm because I mean it, it, it's it's a it's a problem they've always had, which is that they're not they're not fast, they're not slow. Yeah. Um, and so I think they, they lack like heavy mobility, you know, dragons, a lot of them are fly fly ten or fly nine, same with griffins, but so are a lot of caver, you know, they're they're seven, eight, nine. Ogres are sixes pretty much across the yeah. board, except for I think the, the Mournfang Cav. Um, and so I think they just, they just struggle a little bit. I, there's also probably a lot more multi wound available. I don't think there's as much, you know, damaging in, in the sense you don't have great cannons doing D six wounds anymore, but there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot more access to multiple wounds to and, and D three wounds 
Although yeah. they don't carry over anymore, that's another thing that I think some people are still learning. Um, yeah. But I think for, for me, if I see ogres on the, across the table, like I'm kind of, I'm pretty happy. Um, lizard men, I think, to be honest, they're in a similar boat. I think they. Yeah, I know. Probably even slightly worse, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I, I think the slan's just been nerfed into the ground in comparison mm. to what it was in previous editions. Um, yeah. Yeah, you've got lean you know, on that, can, and it feels like that's gone, and he doesn't even have a slant on this list. He's just got the old blood. Uh, so really he's only got also, one. I think he's only got level two magic, and that's it. Yeah, it's the, only, it's the only level four access they have. Yeah. So it's kind of a – you've got to take this big uber character to get a level four, whereas everyone else – like I can take – I think I worked out when we did the Empire review. Was it six or seven level fours oh, I could take in a oh, thousand? Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You and the Night Goblins are like the most, yeah. I know. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah, this list so, is – I and again, I don't – do you guys know Aaron or Gary? No. As no. Because, yeah, I, I feel bad commenting on lists when I don't actually know because I like there's always going to be someone that is way better than me and then I look at their list and I'm not sure and then I, I look like an idiot. But um, I just was wondering about this. It's an interesting Lizardman list in that it's it's got like, you know, just – blocks of these two infantry units and it's the two bastilodons which they're kind of funny with it they've got a it's an okay magic missile by the look of it um but there's not a, not a lot of not a lot of, like a lot else in this there's just the source of old blood which he's good kind of small, yeah um you know he's well, strength seven monster, and, and yeah it's a scary monster but he's not a fly um, yeah, yeah so it just it's the same sort of yeah he's the most scary thing in the list i think i am I was going to say, I, I played against Lizardman in my, oh, I think it was my fourth game of Old World. And it was, uh, we, we had a, a campaign at my local club. Uh, and it was the first round and it was a thousand points. And the, the guy I was playing is a 40K tournament player. Um, hadn't played uh, like any kind of Old World fantasy or anything like that since like third edition. Yeah. He rocked up with a Carnosaur at a thousand points. <laughs> <laughs> and the game was basically he i don't think he actually got anything except for a, like he got a five-man swordsman detachment off me i got his whole army except for the carnosaur so i got 600 yeah. points off of him i, I just avoided i could because i had nothing at a thousand points that could actually yeah. do anything to this carnosaur like yeah, yeah. i couldn't dent it so i was like i'll spend the game running yeah. away from it um like <laughs> it's a serious monster but i think oh it is yeah the, the problem yeah. is like <sighs> They're a bit like the cat, the, the warriors, to be honest, in the sense where if you want to have a decent magic phase, i.e. level four, and you want a combat character, that's a thousand points. You've got a chaos yeah, lord and right. a dragon, and you've got a you got a level four yeah. and say a chariot or, or even on foot. I feel like Lizzie's are in a similar boat, um, except warriors have just got access to a lot more. They're a lot heavily, you know, they're, they're way more supported. Um, yeah, with their than, than the Lizzie's yeah. are. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, nah, cool. Well, let's move. Like, um, probably we probably should skim through what the lists are, but um, maybe I'll just quickly do that. The Aaron Paul's got a Slaughter Master level four with that big cauldron thing, which is cool. I want to see this army. Um, a Fire Belly um, level two Bruiser, um, three Ogre Bulls, five Iron Guts, five Iron Guts, three Yetis, an Iron Blaster, a Giant, and a Thun Tusk Rider. So, it's, like, it's it's it's. I mean, this is a fun thing with Old World too. They're just little armies, aren't they? It's kind of yeah. got a lot on there. Um, and then the Gary Morris has taken the Saurus Old Blood, like we said, on the Court Carnosaur, the Skink Chief, BSB. Um, oh, sorry, that's on a Steg too. The Chief Skink Chief is on a Steg. Um, and then a Skink Priest just hanging out, level Boy. two, Elementalism. 18 Temple Guard, 18 Saurus Warriors, three lots of 10 Skink Skirmishers with jabs. Two Bastilodons. So again, it's yeah, it's tight, kind of a pretty tight army with two big, well, four monsters running around basically. Yeah. So it's not, you know, it's not bad. It's just, uh, it's just interesting. Got um, three maybe he's going, well, is yeah, maybe he's good. just going bugger this. I, you know, like the, the slams crap. So therefore, I've got no magic. So I'm just going lots yeah. of wounds and lots of toughness. So yeah, no, not you know, it's just yeah. I'd be interested to see. Um, I will jump off that. Like, what do you guys think? I mean, are we doing any of that? I haven't even talked to you guys about that. Are we actually, yeah. <laughs> have we given any predictions okay. there or not? Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I'm just going off with Gary's. He's got, he's got three chaff units. Um, yeah. and th I just monsters. think he's got, he's got the amount of monsters. If, if he could use his chaff wisely and get some double charges in, um, especially into, you know, take out the general and things like that. I, th yeah. I think, yeah, it's just the chaff. Yeah. I think it, even those um, 18 blocks of stuff can just sit there against those 
ogres mm. for a bit as well, probably. <laughs> I mean, they're probably not going to be yeah. dishing each other out too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Next up, Adam Fulmizzi. Full Fulmizzi. Full How do you Muzz. Know how pronounce that? Fulmizzi. Muzz. Muzz. Is that yeah. Muzz? Muzz? Okay. Yeah, uh, Muzz. Versus Lindsay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So Lindsay Muzz. Steele, he is, he is <laughs> taking. Um, Adam's got the, or Muzz, is it? Is that how we say it? I, oh, I call him Muzz because that's his nickname. Okay. I used to work with him. Right, yeah, yeah. Cool. Awesome. But, okay. Yeah. So Muzz is taking uh, Tomb Kings. Oh, look at that. Is that right? Yep. And Lindsay's yep. got old <laughs> Lizardmen as well. So we've got two Lizardmen up here. Yeah, straight away. So, yeah, Muzz is taking High Priest uh, on the Bone Giant with the Warding Splint and the Serpent Staff uh, and Elementalism. Um, Royal Dragon, Held yep. on a Chariot with Ruby Ring. Tomb King on a guessing a chariot flail of skulls crown of kings talisman of protection 10 skeleton archers three skeleton chariots three skeleton chariots uh actually all with full command which is interesting um 10 skeleton skirmishes 10 skeleton skirmishes 20 tomb guard which i'm guessing then no they're just hanging out um full command and then tomb school three tomb scorpions three of sharpty that's it so uh well I'll, and i'll quickly go through Lindsay's. um he's got same deal. He's gone. Well, so he's done what you've you said, ASB. He's got the Saurus Old Blood uh, on the Carnosaur. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. That Blade of Revit Zunki. That's what the other guy had too. And I did look that up before. Is that the D6 wounds or D3 wounds? Oh, it's the no armor save one. Strength plus one, but no armor or ward against Ooh. it. So he Ooh. ends up with like a strength oh. six, I think. Um, so yeah, strength yeah, the old six. Blade of realities. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Uh, and then he's gone that's the Slam that's Rage that's Priest that's with Illusion as the BSB. Yeah. So he's just got the two characters. And then he's got two lots of 10 skin skirmishes with uh, blowpipes, 18 Soros Warriors, 18 Temple Guard uh, with the War Banner on the Temple Guard. They've both got, yep, they've both got standards. And then two ancient Stegodons, which I haven't, had. one's got the Engine of the Gods on it. Uh, one's got that giant bow, which I assume is a bit like a alt thrower, is it? Mm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a sing single shot. Um, yeah. Basically, like a, we're not allowed to call them stick chuckers anymore, are we? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I think that's why they, uh, yeah, GW have, have gone away from calling the, uh, like, yeah, they're not the calling them just beer chuckers or, or whatever. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just fully PC. Um, yeah, it's basically, it's just a single shot, like, strength six. Uh, like I think it's strength six, AP two, AP three, or AP two, uh, uh, armor band one. Um, I think it does D three or D three plus one. Yeah, it's problem is you can't. Wounds, yep, strength five minus two AP D three yeah. poison attacks. That's decent. Um, oh, poison! Poison that that that's actually pretty decent. Does it? Um, doesn't have march and shoot though, does it? I don't. Like it doesn't have move and shoot. I don't think. Yeah. No, because it would be, oh, the have to do. be on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The skinks do the it for their um their individual weapons. Yeah, but yeah. the giant bow doesn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. That's uh, yeah. So he's got three big monsters. He's got the slain mage priest hanging out, um, and then like I said, the two big blocks of warriors as well. Um, Adam's tomb kings army. So he's gone. Like obviously got two chariots. So one of these chariot units are going to have. Well, I don't know what he's going to do there, but. Um, and the sigil is that the one where you get extra victory points? So we have a, oh no, that's just minus one to their initiative within six. Okay, um, yeah. yeah, cool. What do you guys? Um, the leech, the serpent stuffs, you know, does help with if you end up in combat. But it, I just find it funny. It's, it's got elementalism, which is cool. But I just I thought maybe he was going for this illusion build, but obviously he's not. Um, I haven't done my uh, Hierophant on the Bone Dragon yet, but at the same time, I'm not totally 100% against it. Um, it's just, you know, obviously you're just not going to throw it away all the time. But Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys make of these lists? I think it's a, it's pretty, yeah. I, I, I feel like it's a hard one for the, um, for the Lizard Man to win, to be honest. Um, like, I, I think Tomb Kings are in a really, really good spot. To be honest, at the moment, um, mm. well, that's why it's overheating. That's not good. <laughs> I'm not sitting on might be, uh, out of luck here. No, no, no. I think it's because it's on. Vi I don't know if it's this. 
Oh, you could maybe um, turn your video yeah, it's like off. Fully... Do you want to do that? Oh, okay. Yeah, how do I do that? I think on the actual... Didn't think of that. Yeah, that might calm it down. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> now, bless okay. you a bit. <laughs> Can you hear us? Oh, no. I think his phone's oh, okay. gone. Is it? I was just going to hear all the, the specialness of my Tomb Kings here, but yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I mean, <laughs> this guy, he's got three monster slayers in the Tomb Scorpions. Yeah. Um, you know, the chariots can probably get in there and smash some of these. Other, I, I reckon that Slime Mage Priest is vulnerable, just the way they've done yeah. it, like the rules are now. Um, and he doesn't have a heap of shooting, but he does have a bit. I mean, there's still 30 Skeleton Skirmisher shots plus six coming out of Sorry, yeah, six each, so 12 out of the chariots. Um, Pretty manoeuvrable and, too. And in terms of uh, like unit strength here, depending on what he does with these characters, yeah. and game one's got that unit. Is it game one with the unit strength? We probably should have talked about that. There is a scenario here, isn't there? Oh, God. I, I literally just had up. that up. I was actually looking at it. Probably should have looked at that. Um, yeah, so unit strength 10, I think, and banners are important in the first game, I think, if I remember. I can't remember. Might be wrong. I'll bring it up. Um, it so in that case, I think this one's uh, – the Tomb Kings are, are pretty good here. Uh, but I would like to see how this uh, – how he deals with the uh, – you know, how the giant – like what he does with the giant, if he throws it in or not into combat a little bit. If, you know, because the serpent stuff, it's not – I mean, it's – it's interesting. I've seen people want to do that. I think it's that one that they do with illusion, though. You know, to try to get that spell off. Um, he does have yes, law for me, so I'm assuming he... unit strength ten. Yeah. Yeah, and the banners. Do you get points for the banners? Uh... So it's unit strength ten. Um, yep. End of the game with more standards held, and mm. end of the game with the opponent's most expensive unit destroyed or fleeing. Yeah, see, I reckon, um, so that's the source, old blood for uh, the Lizardman, whereas um, that's the dragon, I'm guessing, for the High yep. Priest. And, you know, at the end of the day, you don't, like, the High Priest, you, you don't want to lose him anyway, so he's going to do what he yeah. can. But that Serpent Staff is poison at minus 2 AP. Uh, he's taken the law for me with Elementalism, so I'm guessing he's, you know, he's going to pick, like, Plague of Rust, stuff like that. Yep. And, like, he could probably have that old blood with no save, you know, except for tells him a protection so he probably could still i don't know i don't know if he's gonna um do that yeah but yeah i think he's got some options there anyway we'll go to the next one yeah so we're saying that maybe the tomb kings might get up here on Lindsay. poor old Lindsay. we're just not giving the uh the lizardman much of a <laughs> i just don't know much about him either so i feel bad but we'll go with that yeah um yeah sorry Lindsay. i don't know who's keeping score at home here but we better speed these up hey adam Gooley. Well, who is he? He's got the demons, I'm pretty sure, isn't he? Uh, versus uh, Mark Ward. And I know the name, but I don't know Mark Ward. Um, or if I do, I've forgotten. Um, Ghoulie's list scares me. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got... Um, <coughs> it's basically Nurgle. So Demon Prince of Nurgle, Fly, Aetherblade, Battle Magic, uh, Trap... Trappings of, I'm not sure what some of these things are. Um, another yeah. Demon Prince, Fly, Demon of Zench, uh, level four twin heads. So it's sort of like a, um, I was thinking of doing this in our game, you know, because he's, um, he's obviously doesn't have as much wounds. He's not as good as fighter as the uh, Lord of yeah. Change, but they're monsters, you know, they're monstrous infantry. So they're just 360 line of sight, you know. They can yeah. just do what they want. Um, and then Demonic Herald of Nurgle, um, Banner of Holy, Unholy Victory. I'm pretty sure that is the one that gives you. Is this the one that gives you victory points? Oh, no, D3 combat res. That's right. Okay, so it's like a little bullshit banner. Um, <laughs> Chaos Furies, Chaos Furies, Chaos Furies. A 31 block of Plague Bearers, Nurgles, yeah, yeah. and then four Plague Drones, and then three Plague Drones. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, uh, um, yeah, lots of Nurgle filth and stuff Nurgle, that my yeah. army is, like he's got no large targets to shoot. Um yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like individually, all these combat wires are just punch me in the face. It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. Happen. You won't get through those plague bloody bearers too easy either. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, yeah. They have regen five or six for them. What do they got? Yeah. Regen six, poison attacks. I'm guessing they're sitting up there. It's tough four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Muso, yeah, that's it's a big. I mean, when you see units that big in old world, like four hundred twenty-one points, you know, yeah, it's going to be hard. And so, what was the scenario? Did you say that the biggest point? So you actually have to beat that unit in this yeah. game to get the scenario, yeah. or at least that one scenario point. That one, yeah. Um, just having a look Good at luck. his other banners, though. What's he got? He's got just the, so the demonic herald is going to be in that unit as well. So you're not getting that points either. Yeah, <laughs> and then he's got. <laughs> Flyers, I'm guessing their unit strength's only going to be nine. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a tough one. Um, mm. We got Tomb Kings on the other side, though. They might give them a run for money. Let's have a look here. We got High Priest uh, with this Poison level four, Law Familiar on Illusion, uh, and then a Tomb King on the uh, with the Ogre Blade Talisman Protection on the Giant. So um, not as defensive, but massively more killable, like Killy, obviously, yeah. with the Ogre Blade. Very cool, yeah. um, so that's interesting. Then he's got 39 skulls and archers. So you can guess where his high priest is going. So he's going to have yeah. 39 poison shots. He's got the two 10 skulls and horse archers. Four of sharps, he's heavy, heavy oh. armor. Five of sharps, he's great bows, great, great bows. bows. Uh, casket of skulls, necros things. I like this list. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> um, you know, you roll right and you can deal some damage to some multi-wound things. But at the same yeah. time... I mean, they might do some damage to these plague drones, but um, that big yeah. block of units still scares me. Like, I'm not sure. The only thing that he's got going for him on this, which I think is, I shouldn't say, like, there's a chance here. That Tomb King dragon could take those demon princes out, no worries. Yeah, yeah. So if he can get them, because I, I don't, right? Like, what are, their stats aren't that great when you look at them. Nah, they're not all. Weapon skill seven, terrible. tough five, yeah. four wounds. Like you can get through that, mm. hey, you know. Um, yep. So it feels like between the shooting and they don't have great saves. Like if he gets fire, yeah. what's Illusion got um, for, because he's law familiar. What's he got? He's got, because he's he, he can shoot. Even with that um, casket's crappy spell, it's um, – like if you don't get the fail the leadership, you know it's still magical attacks. Yeah. You're not getting any yeah. ward. No, uh, no, no. Mine range another magic missile. Uh, another so he's got two leadership test ones, which are interesting. They're yeah. Not, what's the leadership over here of these plague drones? Seven. Seven. They need to be in. Ooh, this is interesting. Ghoulies list is good, but if you're in the wrong spot against something like this, yeah. Multiple. Um, Obviously, the column, the blocking stuff getting in the way. Spectral doppelganger. I mean, that's basically useless, isn't it? Because it's only on on the wizard. Only for the right build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but my Ag's big mira mirage should just stop people charging. Um, mm. Well, this will be a good matchup. I want to know who who comes out on top here because I. It's a pretty interesting Tomb King army too. If he's if he's shooting that's goes good. off, that's, that's pretty a good, good. Tomb King army, yeah. yeah. Very anti large, yeah. which seems to be. Well, anti monster, and you know, just yeah, yeah, it's good. It's well, good the thing I like about this because if you don't have large targets, I don't really, like my archers are going to struggle because I have to try to string them out. But he's still got like yeah. nine hitting on fours with you know, straight five or six, whatever it is, multi wound two, yeah, <laughs> you know, like some yeah. pretty craziness with these. Sharp that is. Um, that is good. So that's kind of interesting. Oh man, I don't know, but Ghoulie's one of our admins. I might have to say Ghoulie just gets up because he's. Good, but I, I don't know. I'm not, uh, this is, I think it's a good scenario points for Ghoulie though, because you need to take out, you need to take out that block of play. That big block. Bearers. Yeah. You have to kill his Tomb King to get yours, which he is killable. He's not like the souped up one. Yeah. Like, you know, so it's, oh, this, well, I don't think there'll be much left on this board <laughs> in this yeah. game. So interesting. We'll probably, I'll probably be totally wrong on that one, so like I always am. Alan Prata versus uh, Wilbur's, so uh, Wilbur Wingate Pierce. We really, I should really speed this up, man. So maybe you can uh, smash through this when I bring it up. So what have we got? Did I say Wilbur? No, Alan Pratt. Alan, Alan, yeah, Pratta versus yeah. Wilbur. Yeah, Wingate cool. Pierce. Ah, uh, well, you can lead me on this one because Wilbur's got the uh, vamps. Yeah. Wilbur's um, the son. I, don't, I can't remember how old he is, but he's probably like a, in his teens these days. I, I, I know he would be. Yeah. Um, so, and hasn't played it a lot. So I'd hate to just judge on the player. 
Um, but vamps are good, but at the same time, you know, I don't know. The int- mm. You know, like knowing when to get that terragrass into screen position and stuff. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, an auto, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Have you got it up? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yes. Wanna, sorry, yeah. I was looking at the wrong screen. <laughs> All good. Um, so Alan, um, so he's running uh, Brett's obviously. So he's got a Duke um, running on a horse. Um, uh, what's he got? A Paladin. Lots of stuff. Also yeah, running yeah, on just a do horse that, yeah. with his giant blade. Uh, he's got a Damsel uh, level two, so it's not gone too heavy on the the magic. Running two units of nine, uh, six night errant. No, three units of six. Three nine units errant. of nine errant. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep um a six uh no two units of six uh knights of the realm so that's quite a few small buses so he's running that small mm. bus sort of mm. what's that five five small buses of knights. five little lances cool. if they're in lance yeah interesting it's kind of <laughs> yeah. look like a bretonian army yeah it's cool yeah. yeah um only three peg knights single unit and he's running uh was that seven grails yeah seven grail knights yeah seven grails yeah that's mm. his probably big unit, 392. Yeah, so you need to take these grails yeah. out in this game. Um, I'm guess I don't know, but I don't know if he's going to throw everything into one single unit. I suppose, you know, you can mix and match where he wants. But, yeah, um, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Wilbur's running uh, Master Necro. So I, is, am I wrong? Wasn't Didn't Brett's have some weird rule where you had to include, like, what, what is their rules for core? That no, must be valid. I just somebody was telling me you had to at least have like the arches or the thingy these days, or is that not? Am I did I misread that? Ooh, nah, yeah, not matter. sure. Keep going. Yeah, it mustn't be. It hasn't yeah, been yeah. here in ballads. So. Yeah, yeah. So you need some men at arms or something. Yeah. Um. Oh. Ah, oh. screen's gone. What's happened there? <laughs> oh, it's gone <laughs> to the wrong one. I was trying to bring up. To oh, one. what did I? Oh do? no. Hang on. There you go. Is that better? Sweet. Uh, so Wilbur's running a level four necromancer on foot. Uh, he's got the ghoul king, sort of kings on a terrorgeist. He's running a white lord uh, as his BSB on foot as well. Um, he's also running a level two uh, acolyte. So another necromancer. Um, he's got 22 graveguard. So he's running a Bus, biggish bus of Graveguard, 20 zombies, five dire wolves, three bat swarms. Uh, it's below the bat swarms. Sorry, mate. I think that's a night. Sorry, that Alan Pratt is running the night, the errantry list, I think. Ah, uh, okay. Because I think, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I just I can't see it here. That's annoying. I can't see what the actual list is. Yeah, Maybe yeah, that's yeah, just, yeah. I'll well build builder because it's I've got it crunched in mobile mode. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Sorry, just I'm just really annoying if people are just listening to this, but surely I can see what the actual army is. Is it on the game view? I oh, know, Kingdom of Britannia. Hmm, interesting. Sorry, I'll go back there, but I because I just sorry, I just looked at their book and yeah, it says you've got to have one plus unit of men at arms and or peasant bowmen. Mm. So if this isn't the knights list, that's technically invalid, is it? But hmm, interesting. Yeah. So yeah, Black Knights and Terrorgeist. Sorry, down the bottom on yep. Wilbur's. Yeah. Yes, wait. Cool. So yeah, not um just wondering where he's gonna put his characters on foot and if the knights can get into it. Because if you can throw two units mm. of knights of, of realm charge into it, yeah, into with like the graveyard with the characters unit. and try and kill the master necromancer. So you mean? Yeah, yeah. I think that that to me would probably be the only the only big problem Wilbur's going to be facing is where he's going to stick those characters on foot and can he sort of because it's going to be very maneuverable that um yeah Alan's list yeah so if the Grail was going to it with another uh, another unit with a few characters he could be in a bit of trouble. He does have a lot of. Um, he's also got like the bat swarms, the, the, yeah, you know, the zombies, chat. even yeah. the dire wolves, just to annoy these knights errant. They're going to get like, potentially get pulled out of line if they fail some um, impetuous and only three peg knights. I mean, these grails are scary as hell. Um, yeah. So he's going to have to shove them in the the dude's face and try and do that. Like, yeah, it's. Um, 
It's like anything, I guess you're, you're a vamp player, you know, when you come across like really fast lists who can get into you really quick to the units they want, that's potentially a problem, is it? Yeah, it's sort of, it's one of those things, I suppose. Like he's got, what, two terror ghosts, um and yeah. his own unit of Black Knights. So, I mean, he could possibly put them in a bit of a bit of an arc just to have a bit of a yeah. threat like and go in there then yeah. and you're going to get these guys in the flank and all get screamed at yeah 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 and if he can <laughs> no. use his chaff, chaff well um he could mm. yeah definitely be in with a good shot too cool who do you give the edge there to though or uh you don't Ooh. know i just don't know the players either yeah i don't know the players just just going by lists i just because he's got characters on foot i'd say Allen, if he gets some good charges off, but if Allen can't get a couple of combo charges off, then I'll say, yeah, Wilbur. Yeah, no worries. Cool. Let's go into the next one. Alex Bucket versus Daryl Kiernan. So Daryl's taken mm. some demons by the look, which is cool. He used to be awesome. Like he used yep. to always have those Tomb Kings in the eighth. Uh, and then Alex is taking Lizardman as well. I think he was tossing up, obviously, with the Savage sort of build with his Orcs, but... Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was hopefully trying to play him on Friday night in the practice game, but I think they're doing their podcast, which is the rank rank bonus podcast. So check that out. They'll probably have a much yeah. better opinion of these games, at least this one. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's gone for the slain mad mage priest, elementalism, uh, law familiar, and then the skin chief, uh, BSB on a pterodon. Uh, that's cool. I didn't. That's cool. Ooh, um, that's just a little flying thing, though, isn't it? It's not yeah. the big one. Yeah. Ah. That's cool with War Banner as well. So he's a Battle Standard yeah. Bearer with War Banner. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, he might be able to like. A Master's Coin. Potion yeah, of Toughness is going into something. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's going to fly around and get, be annoying and getting people's flanks and yeah. break like little chaffy edits and shit, probably. Mm. Or, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. 12, and then he's gone MSU, 12 Saurus Warriors, 12 yeah, Saurus yeah. Warriors, two Skink Clouds, three Jungle Swarms. It's, you know, we've got to start getting into the swarms. You are. I've got to get into them. Yeah. Four Pterodon Riders. Oh, okay. Maybe he just goes in there. I, don't, I didn't yeah. even know. Didn't even think of that. Yeah. You just go in there. That's cool. Um, and then six Cold One Riders and 10 Chameleon Skinks. I'm assuming. Do they do the actual scouts and yeah cool scouts as yeah. well um and then an ancient steg with the big bow thing which yeah it's actually apart from its strength five it's uh with poison it's shots bad. minus two it AP D three it's actually not too bad yeah and 36 mm. did it say 36 or 32 36 inches hmm. don't always have to move it yeah uh and a razor on pack not sure at all how good they are in this edition um oh that's cool this is interesting yeah. Obviously, Alex a very good player, so <laughs> I'm, uh, I think he's got a plan for how he's built this. I feel, mm. um, you know, it's one of these lists too that if even against a dragon, it's like oh, look at his. Apart from the slain mage, mage priest, with hopefully he can fly around. Like, is the elementalism? Does that give you? Oh no, that's illusion. This doesn't give you that. Has it got that that move spell? Yeah, oh, it does. Travel mystical pathways. Um, so you can, you know, he's got law for me, so he'll always have that. So I'm assuming he's just going to, worst case, move this guy around. Um, and then obviously he's got a lot of magic defense there with his dispels. Oh, he's already got ethereal as well. So, yeah, yeah. he's going, yeah. well, I'm going to try to keep this guy alive. And you've just got, Look at his most expensive unit outside of that is 230 point Stegadon. <laughs> Steg, yeah. Yeah, there's a, some design here. Um, over to Daryl's uh, Bloodthirster, Demonic Herald of Corn on the Juggy. 15 oh. blood letters, 15 blood letters, five flesh hounds. They're awesome. Uh, two sets of five flesh hounds, three blood crushers, uh, which I'm assuming that other guy will go in. Uh, skull cannon, a soul grinder. That thing is, oh, that's a big model grinder. if he's got the proper one. I don't yeah, even know yeah. what it's like in this version, but um, four attack, six wounds, six behemoth, close order, furious charge. That's good. Oh, yeah. reserve move. <laughs> I love that. Reserve move on a behemoth. What yeah. the hell? Uh, it's movement eight. So this thing, wow. Can this thing march as well? <laughs> Oh, no, you can't with Preserve Move anyway, um, mm. isn't it? you got to well, just... Well, can't use, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's got the shooting attack. So this thing, what's the warp? 
So cumbersome, multiple wounds to uh, through and through. That's like a bolt throw, isn't it? 48 inch strength, yeah. six minus three. Um, and it's also got a harvester cannon, 12 inch strength, four cumbersome, needs more nails. What's that? Okay, so there's a <laughs> great shot. Um, that's interesting, though. That's a pretty cool, interesting model, too. It's yeah, yeah. 295 points, though, for a monstery thing. It's interesting. I've no, I've got no knowledge of this um, soul grinder, so I've no idea how to comment on this. But uh, yeah, obviously, Daryl's going to be pushing it forward because these dudes have to be in combat, and I feel yeah. like Alex is going <laughs> to pick his shit. combats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then pick his combats uh, and frustrate the hell. Oh, and this bloodthirster. Yeah. Oh, he's flight ten still. Yeah, he's pretty. I mean, he's pretty good. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. I think they're both pretty good players too. This would be a good game to, if you could watch it as well. Um, yeah. I think they'll just be, Alex is going to be playing very um, f- finesse-ish, if you know what I mean. Like just. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, trying yeah. to make make Daryl really struggle to, to kill <laughs> stuff that's worth points, if you know what I mean. Yeah, um, yeah. A little well, bit, maybe. Yeah. I think with that bloodthirster, like obviously he's going to be trying to throw that in and not get bogged down with the, the yeah. little units. So. Mm, interesting. Mm. I, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I, oh, man, I don't like these. I, we shouldn't have ever started to think about getting, um, <laughs> I don't know. I think they're both good. Alex is good though, but so is, I don't know. Daryl's good too. So I have no idea who's going to win that one. Yeah. Not good at picking them. Yeah. Let's go on to, we'll skip your one because you're playing yeah. against the, we don't know really. Fly Buster. Which is, yeah, which would be annoying. <laughs> um, and then we have a, what is it? Andreas. There's a lot of people I haven't heard of. And then Anthony Solari. I think he had the other, yeah. the other Tomb King army. I'm getting confused Ooh, with that. Yeah, name sounds familiar. Yeah. Bring that Is he, up. I think he's done quite well, possibly, Anthony, I believe. Yeah, we brought up the um, this last night on the pod. He's got yep. the double Tomb Kings um, on chariots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got lots That's of, because he's got the um, raw hosts. So he's got four, mm. two lots of four Tomb Guard chariots, four Sharpty, a big block of cohort, skeleton cohort, like, another yeah. four skeleton chariots. He's got the two Tomb Kings. Um, got a bunch of just other chaff with the skeleton horse archers and skirmishes. Yeah. Um, so no monsters and, and just one scorpion. Um, mm. but yeah, like very fast reserve move type, you know, chariots that can yeah. on the, you know, on the charge, do a little bit with the tomb Kings in there. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. So it's just going to be interesting because the the skeleton infantry cohort's not exactly that maneuverable. We'll be sitting back a little bit more <laughs> trying to catch up and do stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, this is sort of army. I don't know. I'm just assuming. Is this one of the armies where you, you know, you, you send it, like it's almost like a reserve flank type thing where you send it hard down one with your fast stuff and try to come across and, you know, meet yeah. the middle? I don't know. Um, so much power and, in that cohort, but it's just... It's yeah, just it's all poison things. too. 20, 18 plus twenty seven. Yeah. What's that? That's uh, nearly fifty seven fifty. Is it forty forty seven? Nearly fifty models in there. Uh, mm. That can reserve move. They have poison, um, and I'm guessing they've got. No, they don't have any characters in there because the characters are on chariots. Um, mm. Technically, they can go in there, so he could do that. Um, yeah. And I don't know how he's going to play that, but you can put them in that unit. Uh, unless there's a rule with the cohort thing that you can't, but in general you could put it in there. Yeah, yeah, you'd think. Which is interesting, and I don't know if that's what he's doing or not, make a big Death Star. Um, <laughs> that'd be interesting. Uh, Andreas Jerks, I can't say that last name, Jerks Sartis. Uh, Chaos Lord on the Dragon, Brazen Collar, Favors of the God, Enchanting Aura, Mark Case Undivided. Basically, the big dragon, um, sorcerer lord Zench, level four on foot, battle magic, exalted sorcerer level two, mark of Zench, uh, ruby ring, battle magic. Is that just on foot? Yeah, it is too. Okay, so they're both on foot. Mm. Um, so that is 
pretty much a thousand points of characters by 29 points <laughs> and then five chaos four hounds uh what have we got 15 chaos warriors five marauder horsemen 10 chaos marauders four chaos knights uh two single dragon ogres a chaos chariot and a and a giant that's giant. cool yeah, that um is. oh I, I, yeah it's scary with the big you know lots of magic and, and dragons so that's that's where you're getting all your yeah. oomph from um because yeah. it doesn't have that big knights and all that and it doesn't it hasn't gone nah. over with the dragon ogres either um, no, it hasn't. so it's almost like that entire except for the chaos warriors which might you know hold some of these guys mm. um well not hold but hang around with these guys he's got a bunch yeah. of chaff <laughs> like yeah it is chariot two dragon ogres that's interesting oh so that's yeah. dangerous against this type I, hmm. oh, I might have to vote against my tomb kings on this one oh going against it i don't know i just i just think he's got so much that might be able to just take the brunt of the chariot charges and stuff and go okay well that's cool but yeah now now i'm getting the next turn yeah, he's got it just depends on stuff. the only thing is obviously you do have that 30 what is it 27 poison arches though um that can try and pip some wounds off some things but um yeah. you know i still don't think it'd get hugely through this chaos law because i'm assuming he's going to end up with you know a two up what two I, up. I don't even know what all these are you know something yeah he gets what's the brazen chaos, chaos armor does chaos armor give you a where a magic res minus two favor the gods just gives him that reroll. uh you just said he's got full plate oh mark of chaos and that's the reroll. so full plate so he's got a three up yeah so oh, he only got a three up he doesn't have a ward oh what's enchanting aura is that the ward or the region i oh, know let's strike oh, first oh. hmm interesting yeah um i mean the problem is those skeleton arches aren't gonna pip that's like, still three up save um yeah. and he doesn't have a heap of magic um he's only got level one wizard so he's really not doing it he doesn't have like plague of rust or anything on the other side i don't know that's yeah. what do you think do you think the tomb kings have got it on this one? Oh, uh, it's gonna be coming down to charges again like he's got lots of um chaff too so yeah he does uh, yeah he does you're right yeah and he's got shooting so yeah. i mean if he can get the thing rid is, of like if you play the scenario Andrew, though this one's got to kill yeah. the chaos lord um yeah Whereas he just has to kill one of those two. It depends where these tomb kings are, though, too. Like I was saying, yeah. like you whack these in that skeleton infantry cohort and then you're healing them back at their infantry rate. Um, yeah. You might be able to keep him alive. Although he's only got one arise because it's only him. Yeah. yeah. But if you, if you charge in with the tomb kings and the Chaos Lord just accepts the charge and then challenges you out, I mean, straight away you're losing all those impact hits, aren't you? It's, it's almost like yeah. negates yeah. having it in that big unit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to struggle yeah. to kill that chaos lord, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Next game is Mo. Well, we can't oh. talk about that one. That is what ASB is versus a guy it's... called Colin Gowdy slash Colin. <laughs> so we won't talk about that. <laughs> Sounds like ASB has been scheming. Uh, I don't it's think it's scheme too hard to beat me, but anyway. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm. I'm looking forward to getting. Uh, how come Anthony Solari is up here twice? Oh, hang on. Is this got? Oh, this list is stupid. It's actually got everyone's name. Oh, this is dumb. Something's gone weird. Because uh -oh. look, it's, do you see what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, so it goes both ways. It's got doubles, yeah, but it's got table yeah, numbers yeah. down here. <laughs> that doesn't work. Um, oh, no, the table numbers are accurate, but it's just got... Okay, cool. Well, we're not as bad time-wise as I thought then because I'm like, bloody hell, this is going to take a while to get through. Um, so we've already done that one. We've got Ben Cray, another yeah. Chaos versus... We've got Chaos versus um, Patty with her Wood Elves. Ooh. I'm Patty. Hmm. So, okay, well, Ben's the guy I play. I played him at Belcon, so he's basically got yeah. like a uh, souped-up Chaos Lord, a Nurgle guy with Ogre Blade. Actually, that is different. He didn't. Ooh, I'm trying to remember if he had Ogre Blade. Ogre Blade. 
he may have had Ogre Blade, but he just wasn't getting through my toughness with the reroll. So I wasn't able to, yeah, I think he only got it off like once or twice. Again. Yeah. Well, he eventually did kill my guy, let's be honest, but it took a while. Um, yeah. So this might be almost the same list. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, level four wizard um, on a Chaos Steed with the Infernal Puppet, which is just shit, but I love it. Oh, sorry, you got magic. that list up? Have you got oh, this sorry, list? Man. Did it again. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. There we go. It's annoying. I, I can't share both. Uh, can I share? Yeah, one yeah, yeah. Two? You got to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I could just look at it on the side, I guess. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Sorcerer Lord. And then he's got all knights, really, like seven Chaos Knights, Corn, seven Chaos Knights, Corn, five Chaos Warhounds, five Chaos Warhounds, seven Chaos Knights, Undivided, Full Plate, Chaos Ooh. Chariot, three Dragon Ogres. Um, so he's got four really good chaff units that get up there. He do has yeah. Frenzied Chaos Knights, which obviously you can send them off on a wild goose hunt if you've got the, the type of models to do it. Um, yep. And then obviously he's just trying to get in there with his Lord do some damage um yep. and paddy's taking the glade lord on with the forest dragon ogre blade talisman protection annoyance and netlings for and mischief so it's the perfect dragon to go up against that dragon um yep. given the the befuddlement's also minus one to your weapon skill that'll bring mm. bring them into hitting on fours i'd imagine isn't it chaos lord would be seven yep so they're going down to a six uh and paddy's yeah, at okay. a seven um, I'd imagine. Yeah. 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 Okay. Minus so, one, uh, minus one to hit and challenges. Is it whatever it is now that it's not as bad. The, um, annoyance of netlings minus one to hit. Yeah. In a challenge. That'd be five. Um, yeah. What was that? Yeah. Well, yes. Uh, yes. Getting on, yep. fives, yeah. Getting on fives in the challenge. Uh, Big and year. then both got, uh, Mark and Nurgle. Well, she's got better save too. You know, it's like she, if they can have a dragon off. Um, yeah. yeah, the dragon, the cast dragon's still slightly better, I think, but not, you know, when you've got that build, I think it's, yeah. uh, you know, you, that's what you're going to do. Uh, Spell Weaver, level four, Ruby Ring, Battle Magic on a Warhawk. That's cool. Flying around, shooting fireballs or whatever, or pillars. Mm. Uh, seven Glade Riders, ten Glade Guards, six Deepwood Scouts, nine Dryads. So, like, really different core. Yeah. Varied core, which is cool. And five Royal Riders, nine <laughs> War Dancers, a Treeman, and a Great Eagle. So, yeah, the rest of the list is not – she's definitely – I mean, yeah. it's Castle as well. I guess she hasn't gone hardcore. Yeah, multiple sister units and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. Hmm. <coughs> the only thing is yeah. none of these are going to stand up to any of those knights if the knights get a charge off, um, no. if they can get there. Yeah, God, no. The Wild Riders would probably take out a knight unit if they got the charge off. Yeah, or would but not the other drastically, way, yeah. drastically mm. take it down. Like even seven knights, you'd think it would take out what, at least three knights on the charge, I'd be guessing. Um, she's gone true flight arrows, arcane bogkins, which would the arcane bogkins would help with the glade guard and then swift shiver shards. Um, uh, she's you know one of each, which is you sort of I don't know. Um, obviously, against the chaos, you probably want the arcane bogkins, but it seems like the poison ones are hagbane's sort of the all the go at the moment, I think. Yeah, I, yeah. um, I don't know. I uh, this is going to be interesting. Again, it's all positioning, isn't it? Patty's a really good player too, so I think she knows that. <laughs> she, you know, fast chaos list, but that's very fast. It is, it is very fast. Like first turn, yeah. it's sitting right there, and you're like, cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, um, and it's not like it's not like Patty's list is massively maneuverable uh, outside of the you know the wild riders, but they they can get baited out. The great eagles flying around, but the rest of them are all foot sloggers. Oh, the Glade Riders, I guess. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's going to be – it's going to be a tough matchup, I think. Yeah. But I Paddy's can see. Dragon could tank that dragon and just sit there the whole game. <laughs> it should be funny. or kill each other with the Ogre Blades. I reckon Paddy's Dragon's good. I reckon yeah, that'll take the Chaos Dragon. Yeah, I think it would. That's the thing, just because mm. the, the the magic item um, yeah. is here. What's Mark of Nurgle, though? That's different, isn't it? That's It wasn't minus one to hit. It's – 
re-roll natural hits at a six if they're rolling a yeah. six. So you can't. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's okay. Um, yeah. Well, cool. Okay. So you reckon if this game's going to be, um, there's a good chance Ben's going to like get into some of these elves if he's fast enough and wipe some stuff, but he might also lose his dragon. You never know. Yeah. But he has to, they both right. have to have a dragon off to get that one point if they want that one. Um, yeah. And then I wasn't sure about the banners here. There's, it looks like they've got a lot because he's got, does he have banners on? Oh, hang on. Banner on the chosen. Sorry, one of those uh, Chaos Knights are chosen. So that's where that like the sorcerer goes in or hangs around as well. Um, mm. But it looks like he's only got. Am I right in reading this that he's only got one banner? He's only got one banner. Hey. Looks like it, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, Paddy could, if Paddy can take the dragon <laughs> and then go in there, get the point there, get the points for having more bowmen, because she's, she's probably going to be able to, like, keep some of her standard bearers alive, because she has heaps by the look of it. One, two, three, uh, four. Oh, she's got four, uh, at least maybe more. Um, that would be interesting. And then obviously she's, you know, uh, what's the rule? You've got to get unit strength in there. Deployment zone or something was it, or was one of those things? Yeah, it? unit strength of ten in the quarters. Yeah, the quarters, um, okay. end of the game with more standard still held and captured. Yeah. Um, so do you reckon? Because that I feel like that favors Patty a bit because you know you can scout some of these guys and try and like because the chaos doesn't want to be sitting in its deployment zone. It wants to like go across and smash you in yours. So she yeah, somehow yeah. can like spread out and make him like have to spread out. Then maybe that would. Yeah, cause some problems. Anyway, mm. I'm going to stop giving predictions. I'm just going to um, talk about that <laughs> side of things because I have no bloody idea. As you can yeah. tell, guys, we are not good at this. We're still <laughs> learning to play this game. And I feel like half the field here knows way more about it than me. At least they've played 6th, 7th, 8th, way more than I have. Uh, yeah. and then we have Ben Mulhall. Mulhall? Mulhall versus Matt. Yeah. Den, Matt, 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 where's Denim? Matt? Yep, Matt De Denim Atkins, and I will bring it back up for, oh, no, I've got it here. Cool. Uh, so run us through this if you can see it. Oh, you can't see it. Can't see it. I'm an idiot again. There we go. <laughs> uh, so Ben's list, oh, he's running orcs. So he's running a Black Orc war boss um, on a wyvern, troll hide, just talisman, all the toys. He's got, oh man, he's got some good saves there. Cause he's got yeah, that's a plate. two up, five up, five up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I think. Full plate, go. shield. Yep. Good yep. war boss. Um, running uh, level four up, goblin on a giant wolf, um, elementalism, ruby ring, law familiar. Uh, two night goblin big bosses. Um, I know why he's taking those. Um, oh, he's, unlock up. he's got to unlock his night goblins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's two orc big bosses. Sorry, no, one orc big boss uh, is his war banner. Uh, sorry, battle standard bearer uh, yeah. on a war ball. And he's got a orc war boss um, also running the troll hide trousers. I didn't realize there are a, um, you could, a multiple. Yeah, like they're so duplicate. good. It's yeah, so they are. Good. They're, they're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, sorry, that is a two-up. You get plus one save and the five-up regen, isn't it? Is that what it is? I need. I am going to get my orcs out next while I'm trying to build a whole new army. So I'm going to get. Yeah, I think it's yeah, it is plus one. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. right. Sorry, the wyvern is. So the wyvern effectively is a two-up, five-up, five-up, and then yep. his war boss uh, is a three-up, five-up. Mm. Both on boars. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's running a he's mob of boars. eighteen yeah. black orcs, which is pretty yeah. cool. Uh, he's got uh, five uh, goblin wolf riders, two units of 30 night goblins, of course, with three fanatics. Um, yep. Two units of just little chaffy orc mobs, five orc mobs, um, and a unit of eight boar boys. Yeah. Uh, and <clears throat> one? Yeah, and they're big ones too. So this one, yeah, so he's going to have... Big red, he's going to put these two guys yep. in here. Um, yeah. He's going to get plus one. 
So he's going to get, he won't have the full, he's going to get good combat res for Cav, that's for sure. He's, he yeah, won't yeah. tank a dragon, but he's going to have good uh, combat res, especially with Furious Charge. This thing, what's wrong? Oh, saying, yeah, yeah. It's a... Yeah. If this thing's, they're, they're thinking, they're, they're not going to have, um, uh, not animosity, what's it called? Impetuous. Um, so they've all, they're all already going to have, Plus two, plus three for the banner, plus four for the thing, plus five if they put a rank. They probably won't do it. They probably don't need a rank. They're just going to go, F it. We're just going to charge yeah. all attacks, furious charge, and just wipe things out. Um, yeah, that's a scary Black Hawk's still or just weapon skill? No, so these are three, but they'll go to weapon skill four. Being with the Because what's Biggins give you? Is it just strength? Yeah, strength, yeah. Yeah, okay. So they're only they're only gonna be weapon skill four with a raggedy flag. But that, yeah, that's dangerous. This this yep. odd knob is gonna hang out, I bet. Uh well maybe if he needs to, maybe. with <laughs> potentially with the Wolf Rider mob, because they've got reserve move. You can you can yeah. give this guy reserve move then and do some ruby ringing and shooting and then get back out of dispel range potentially if you want to do that. Are they impetuous um, spot? Yeah. They are, but you could put them in. You could put them in open order, so you don't yeah. have three hundred and sixty line. So you can do a few True. things, but um, then hopefully put them in a good spot, good position. Um, um, yeah, that's good. And then you've got those list? two little units of five orc mobs. They probably put them in marching column and shoot them up to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> annoyance. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Matthew's list. He's running uh, his Chaos Lords. Uh, is Mark Corn going on Manticore with a giant blade? Oh, Manticore, and... I love it. Yep. I don't know how good they are, but I haven't seen one, and I've got an awesome three D model to print uh, of a Manticore. So anyway, sorry, <laughs> continue. <laughs> uh, it's got an aspiring champion um, on foot, Mark Nurgle, uh, Banner of Rage. It's his BSB. Another aspiring champion, Mark Nurgle on foot uh, with a sword of might. Extra arm, I'm guessing, in a, a plus one attack. Um, is running uh, 15 warriors, um, five chaos knights, five forsaken. Uh, he's running a chaos chariots in his special and oh, a hell cannon. Ooh, he's got a hell that. cannon. Oh, and he's, he's got, got allies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's got I some beastmen coming along. Um, he's got a level two uh, ray shaman demonology, um, 10 unit. Uh, gore herds, uh, ambushes. Ten, He's taking the ambush yep, option. Ambushes, nice. Yeah. Uh, 10 ungores and 10 beastie gores. So, oh, that's not... cool. So, do you reckon the Bray Shaman hangs with them as a bit of a bunker at the back, just goes around and shoots people with his demonology? And then these guys are just ambushing and just being annoying. Being annoying. Yeah. Good chance. Plus the hell cannon. It's <laughs> interesting. I've no, I don't know how good the hell cannon is or not. No, I don't, no idea. Mm. uh chaos lord as well oh interesting i was looking at this list and i'm going oh the orcs are just gonna wipe this probably uh maybe not the dragon but sometimes you can tank him a little bit with some things and you know i don't know it's not like the black orc but even these black orcs they're quite like resilient um, yeah this guy does have that a giant blade it doesn't have a dragon so you know yeah. you might decide to go effort i'll just go into this guy and hold him up you know um, yeah i would and he's got that so. big unit of boar boys who'll just do whatever it wants. Mm. Yeah. I think that's the problem is that boar boy oh, unit. Fanatics. I'd still give it to the I'd yeah. give it to Ben here, but I mean again, we weren't gonna do that now, so I'm gonna stop doing it. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll get it. You watch, I'll be like one game right out of twenty six or whatever it is. Um mm. No, I like, I like, I, you know, the thing is though, I like both lists. I like the orc list. Um, it's very similar to it. Like it's now that they're nerfing the Nikons a bit more too, I think you'll get to see a few more little units pop in or like a few more different yeah. character choices that you haven't been seeing. So, um, that's what I like about that. Even though you would say it's a fairly standard orc list in a way. Um, yeah. but then this chaos one's really cool. Manticore allies. Um, yeah, just, it's cool. I like it. So hopefully he mm. does well, um, with it. Because you know you want some variety, hey. Um, yeah. Then we've got Caitlin Gallagher, which again I wasn't sure, but I'm assuming it's Batty's sister. We really have to sort yeah, that yeah. out. No, it is. Confirm if it is, because uh, I keep saying it on the podcast. If I'm wrong. No, no, no. It is. She came to. Um, uh, oh, it is. Is it? Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Um, and then we have Mark Icon. Hurwitz. Yeah. Yep. Uh, cool. Awesome. And so Caitlin is bringing, uh, I think she's just bringing, oh, hang on. It's not the troll. No, I think this is, no, this is the troll. Uh, yeah, it's a troll horde. There's two troll hordes at least in this. Yeah, cool. Oh, she so she's that. got, yeah, I think it is because troll hag can only be in the troll. Like it's a rare choice in the normal list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so she's got a Goblin Ognob, uh, Idol of Gork, Talisman Protection on Arachnarok, level four. Water. Oh, I love it. I mean, I know it's not the best choice as such because it's, you know, not as killy, but I mean, for a wizard, like to hang your wizard on it and you've got a four up, like five up ward with its crappy save, but um, yeah. all those poison shots as well. And Idol of Gork yeah. means you, is this the one that you can hang out? Is that the dispel one? Uh, uh, yeah, well, sort of. It oh, increases yeah. all your spell ranges by three. So you can hang out a little bit. You know, yeah. you don't have to get too up there, you know. Um, yeah. Then she's got the troll hag. So then obviously they got... The only thing you would love to see, and I don't know if you could do it, if you could get regen, if you, if you could. I don't know if you can, but could you somehow take something that gives you regen on this? Probably not, because that would have been good to get your regen reroll. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the troll hag's there. She's level two taking troll magic, which is cool. And then a goblin big boss with a the banner of butchery, um, giant spider, and the pig sticker. And the giant, the, the, the banner of butchery is plus one strength on the charge okay so this is like a little run around and do some damage i think in mm. the um in the in the rear five river trolls th 31 goblin mob with short birds and three nasty skulkers with the spider banner so she's <laughs> going for 31 poison shots as well um yeah. for 206 points that's pretty good yeah, yeah. um 12 the only problem is it's short bows, eight an inch, but whatever. Twelve goblin spider yeah. rubs there also got obviously got poison as well. Dangry so lad's expensive. flag. Two thirty two. Two hundred and thirty two yeah. points. Wow. Mm. Is that is that the banner? How much is that banner? It's because she's taken all the options. Short bows, light lords, cats. Oh spears. yeah. It adds Thirty five points it? for the yeah, angry banner is gains the frenzy, frenzy. special rule. Interesting. Ooh. That's pretty cool. It's like a like a glass hammer almost. Like two hundred and thirty. Yeah, yeah. It's like trying to Trying to sort of do a scare, uh, a not so good, well, maybe better. Um, what do you call it? Like, uh, what do the wood elves have with the just go in and try and blow something up <laughs> with their <laughs> their frenzied dudes? Because these with the poison, that's pretty good. Because yeah. uh, they're all got poison, I think. Like even the cav spear and the spiders, so it's two attacks each. Yeah, um, you never know. You might do some damage. Yeah, and then <laughs> that's so that's funny. Great. It's all characters, all core. Yeah. <laughs> and one bone grinder giant in the mercenaries. <laughs> I love it. That's that so good. cool. I really want to see. I'm assuming. Am I making the assumption here that none of these models, like, are they going to be G Dub ones or are they going to be all like 3D printed ones and stuff and like really cool different conversions? I haven't seen I Caitlin's army. I saw, yeah, well, I saw Patty was talking about, she had a picture of a, um, I think it was Patty, not Caitlin. I had a picture up of the Arachnorok spider. And that was a 3D printed one. Yeah, um, cool. I'm really like interested a, to see this. Yeah. Like the coastal, coastal, I think it's a crab or something. Where'd you put that on the Discord? Uh, possibly on the chat. It looked really cool. Okay. Okay. We'll have to have a look. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Mark Hruwitz is taking uh, the, uh, what's it called? Wood Elves. Glade Lord mm. on the Forest Dragon Ogre Blade Talisman Protection. So, um uh yeah good just doesn't have those other little annoying sort of what are they called the forest sprites to do a little bit of actual spites what are they called uh spell yeah. weaver level four on foot battle magic ruby ring talisman talismanic tattoos and a shadow dancer you haven't seen many of them yeah, um yeah. are they just a level one what are they yeah well how does this work oh they're oh, that's nothing cool. that's just yeah, how yeah. it's red it's actually she hasn't taken that yeah. um then 10 glade guard with Arcane Bogkins, 10 Glade Gun, Arcane Bogkins, five Glade Riders, five Glade Riders, both with Hagbanes, and then eight Deadwood Scouts with Arcane Bogkins. Um, so, yeah, they're – that's sort of what I would have thought to see in Core, you know, like a lot of shooting yeah, yeah. and a mixture of Arcane and Hagbanes, so that's pretty pretty fine. And then two lots of six Wild Riders, ten War Dancers. Um, so, yeah, I, 
Has the sisters just not, do people not have them from eighth or are we just not allowed to bring them or like I haven't, because I did skim this. I'm not sure if anyone has brought a lot of sisters. They seem a bit broken to me, but I don't know, maybe, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm not too up to date with the the hmm. stats of the sisters. Is it just because they're poison just, attack? Oh no, it's just because they've got they choose you can choose any spell from or a bunch of those laws. So everyone takes you can generally and, and then you get bonuses to cast based on like if you're um your unit size, but also if you've got a champ and a banner and all that crap. So you can get I think up to like yeah. plus two or plus three casting the spell. But because you can choose it, you yeah. can take like just pillar and so you can take two or three oh, units okay. of those dudes with three pillars and then have another pillar with one or two other battle magic wizards and you can <laughs> be shooting like and because they've got reserve move you can shoot your pillar and then just run off and no yeah, one can yeah. dispel it because you've run away from your outside of their 24 inch oh, and so all yeah. these five pillars are going around the board <laughs> <laughs> while your 36 or 30 30 inch archers are standing out of range as well shooting the shit out of things yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> So maybe Kendall just went, no, sisters. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Um, interesting. Cool. I like it. Uh, this will be fun. Oh, I, you do have all these goblins, poison shots, and, like if they get, but they're just too short. Of, there's no way these goblins are going to be in range to shoot any of this stuff. <laughs> Probably yeah. because they're just going to stay outside. <laughs> I don't know. I love the troll hags. I'm just not 100% sure it's going to stand up to all this. Yeah, well, it's not. It doesn't look like a super quick list. And mm. I just think that Glade Lord could be able to get into whatever it wants, either the spider or the, the troll hag. Yeah, uh, and he'll kill the like the spider's not that great. I mean, it's a lot of points there, but it looks scary. Then you get it's like they're not that hard to kill. Yeah, no. Yeah. Anyway, but, cool. I'm really excited to see Caitlin's army though. Um, yeah, same. Let me check that out. We got Cameron White. I think he's got Bretts versus Scott. Oh, Scott's army. Oh, I hope I don't play. I like Scott, but I hope I don't get to play him. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> have you seen his vamps? No. Nah. Oh, I would have. Yeah. I would have because it went through them all. But oh, um, yeah, not I think it's. I don't know. I I think it's pretty good. Um. Okay. So Cam's taken Brett's. Actually, wasn't this the other A or S tier Brett army? Wasn't that wasn't that what Josh said or something on that list? I can't remember. Um, but then we went. Be. Oh, it's got Lady Elise to shard. So that's cool. Um. Can't really oh, sorry, I haven't got the list but... up. Oh, thank you, thank you. Is this the um the four the two lots of four pegs? Yes, this... yes, yep. the one we quickly touched on last night. Yeah, yep. so it's got a leash Jussard, damsel uh, on illusion level two, a duke on uh, the brawl peg, ogre blade, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Paladin mm -hmm. battle standard on a horse with the falcon horn. Uh, twenty four uh, uh twenty four men at arms, six two years to six. Mounted Knights of the Realm, 10 Peasant Bowmen, 5 Mounted Yeomen, 2 lots of 4 Peg Knights. Uh, so, yeah, these Peg Knights are going to be flying around yeah. trying to kill things with the Duke. And, yeah, um, you know, the other, the Paladin is probably going to do some stuff with dual charges with the Knights and the other guys are going to hang back and hang back with the Damsel. I, I don't know what you do with Lady <laughs> yeah, um, the men <laughs> Du Shard. She yep. obviously goes in one of them potentially as well. I think she's pretty good. I just don't know exactly what she does. Man, have a look at Scott's. Read out Scott's and tell me what you think. I thought it looked pretty good. Um, so where are we? It goes what level four necro, on foot, spell familiar, the scepter, right on dark magic, um, the obligatory Strigoi ghoul king <laughs> on the Terragast with the So what's the sort of kings again? Um... Oh, does that is that got killing blow? Possibly. All oh, right, is it? Sword of Kings does killing blow. You are right. Bait roll of a natural five or six. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So cool on a terror geist. Yep. Sorry, keep Buff going. Killing blow. Um. So yeah, that could uh could hurt some people. Uh, it's got a white lords. BSB, Banner of the Barrows on foot, 
a cursed armor, enchanted shield. I can see he's going to go in a big uh, grave guard unit. Um, he's running a level two necro on foot. Hand of dust, spell familiar again. Dark magic. Oh, he's loving that dark magic. Um, a big block of twenty-two graveyard. Um, running Ooh, drilled. <laughs> oh, drilled. Great weapons. Um. What's Direct the point of musicians on these guys? Because I saw that with the other Tomb King army, and I was sort of under the pressure that they're pretty much useless on Undead. But is that not the same with Vamps? Or uh, Don't they, like, like if, if it's a, if you have a drawn combat? Yeah, but I mean, do you care as an Undead person? Oh. <laughs> because you don't care anyway. I don't know. Oh. I'm not sure. Anyway, anyway, and another zombie muso as well. Yeah, yeah, twenty zombies. That's interesting. Direwolves, uh, six direwolves, six fell bats, and what's he running in rare? Another Charagos? But yeah, this is the thing; Charagos. it's not that. This is the interesting. Oh, that's thing right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> running some um, some of his other undead a allies. Mortary cult. Uh, oh, no, yeah, uh, yes, a mortary <laughs> cult list. Is it? No, it's not just normal. Actually, so it's a different one. I was thinking, mortary priest. Uh, level two, and um, like with the poison, and eighteen yep. skeleton archers with bows and a tomb scorpion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, it is mortuary cult. I think it's mortuary cult because that's how you get the ambusher. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got the, the extra this one mortuary cult terror below. So it's got that other the different terror below where you can come up and cause uh, make them do those initiative tests and kill things as well. <laughs> so. He's basically brought this little poison archer bunker with yeah. a level two on elementalism uh, with this, yeah, tomb scorpion. It's pretty funny. So you can't, with allies, like this is a, I'm, I think I know the answer to this, but you can't put an allied character in a your unit, can you? Don't think so. Yeah. Probably... You bring up a good point in this, that I need to read the ally and mercenary rules before I go to yeah. the weekend because I don't know what they are. <laughs> Like yeah, even yeah. in terms of, you know, like which allies are, um, you know, like less trusted and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that I've got allies, but I just want to know, you know, it might be critical in the game and go, oh, hang on. They can't yeah. lose their leadership or some shit, you know, that type of yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can, but yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. like, that, that yeah. would be nuts in the grave guard unit. I'm yeah, I don't, I don't. really excited to see how it goes. Cause like, I don't think anyone's, I think everyone's still in a bit of a, um, just habit of just not doing it. Do you know what I mean? Not taking yeah. allies or mercenaries. And I love that Kendall just, he didn't say you can do it. He just didn't put it in the pack that you can't. And, and so the obvious thing is you can. And in my head, I didn't even consider it. And I'd love to be able to start playing around with some lists like that. Um, and it's not even just for over, OPing anything. It's just to have a bit of fun sometimes. Yeah. Um, I'm just so worried yeah. where he's going to put his necromancer. Is he going to put it in the zombie unit? Or is yeah, he going to put it in the yeah, unit? maybe. That's right. what I was thinking. Maybe just try and hide it back with the zombies, maybe. Because the yeah. graveyard, you want to get into combat, won't you? Yeah, yeah. But then if he's only running... Now, what about, can you put the necro and... near the other ones and still get cover? Like lone character? Like that's got, has that got nothing to do with mercenary yeah. units and stuff and allies? Yeah, maybe. Mm, have to look, we'll have to read that. Cool. I like that. Um, yep. That's interesting. Um, and I think from from uh, looking at that meta, that that tier list, I think they were both on the S tier. So that's uh, be interesting to see the results of this one as well. Yeah. Uh, and then Those we're getting to some duplicates scary. here. <laughs> yeah. Me again. Um, so that's not me. So we'll skip that one. Daniel Welfare. Um, we must only have a couple left because yeah, we're almost, well, I don't know. Uh, Daniel Welfare versus uh, Jack Carroll. I might be getting confused here, but is Jack Carroll the Jack Carroll from the old famous podcast? Is that Jack oh, Carroll? Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about different Jack. Oh, I've got the names wrong. Can't remember. Uh, anyway, cool. Daniel Welfare is taking Beastman, Beast Lord, on Ooh. foot uh, with all the... Uh, not, I mean, Pell the Dark Young, Primeval Club, Nulled Hide, a Wargore BSB with the Mangler and Slug Skin, uh, Great uh, Level 4, Shaman, Brace Staff, Talisman Protection, Law for Me, Ruby Ring, Elementalism, 18 Best Scores, uh, Great Weapon plus Hunter Spears, yep, 20 Gore Herd Additional Hand Weapons, 10 Ungore, 
Five harpies, four minotaur herd, three dragon ogres, a gorgon. Um, that's cool. Mm. Um, and then Jack Carroll is taking chaos with the chaos lord on. I'm just going to say that can't be on a dragon because it's only 365 on a demonic mount. Um, biting blade, armor of the damned, extra extra arm. Exalted sorcerer level two on foot with Zench. Oh, but sorry, Mark of Zench, but battle magic. Sorcerer lord, Mark of Zench level four. Um, Dark majesty on foot as well. Okay. Yep. Um, as far as I can see, anyway. Five chaos knights um, of corn, five chaos warhounds, 15 chaos warriors of Zench. 15 Chaos Warriors of Zench, 1 Chaos Spawn, 1 Chaos Spawn, 5 Chaos Chosen Knights of Corn and with Drilled. Um, so do you reckon the Chaos Lord, he's Mark of Undivided, but then Mark of Corn. Hey, he must be Mark of Corn. Can that Demonic Mount go in the Chaos Chosen Knights then? Probably. Yeah, I'd imagine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so they're going there. He's got another unit of Knights hanging out and then um, – just some warriors with these sorcerers in them and just cow spawns and, and some, um, mm. didn't I say dragon ogres? Oh, no, that was the other guy. He's got yeah, dragon yeah. ogres over here. That's interesting. Um, yeah, what do you make of those ones? What's uh, What about this Daniel Welfare's list? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a little, I'm not sold on the dragon ogres together like that. Um, Yeah, I yeah. Know. I feel I feel like they're. I feel like the beastmen need to be like really punch in the face, and I feel like when the unit sizes aren't huge, they don't they don't punch in the face. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, the minotaurs to me, it's a little bit small. They, yeah, that's what I mean. Like they're only like, four. Hasn't well. got a character, but they yeah, don't have a like doom that. ball either. So like they're no not, doom ball in there. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about them. And then these 20 gore. So I, I think I'm probably leaning to Jack's list. Gore's going right, I think. Yeah. What was that? I think the beast of gore's could go all right with... Um, yeah, the, yeah, they would. Yeah. One of the characters in there, but it's going to be a little bit slow. Obviously, the Jack's list could probably pick his... Am I? He's got two night buses, so I don't know. We'll see. The only thing is, are we... <laughs> maybe I'm over... Uh, selling on the fact like maybe i'm used to just thinking of the chaos people with dragons i don't know maybe they're different when you've when a unit of knights that still only have what's chaos chosen what are they one wound yes <laughs> you know yeah i mean like maybe maybe they still can get blown off the table uh like yeah they're just like blood knights you know they've, like they've you get a couple of um he gets a couple of shots of voltide on one of the a couple of these chariot these knight units are just going to vaporize them <laughs> Yeah, and he there's no armor up. side five d six hitting on sixes, yeah, um, yeah, or wounding killing on six. Um, so that could totally change the course of the game if you wiped out, you know, even just substantially wiped out those those um chaos chosen knight with the lord on it and start being able to hit yeah. him as well, like through some magic, yeah. which is kind of interesting. So, but he mm. he might get out magicked a little bit. Maybe there is like. He's got two level, level four, level two versus just a level four. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It might be, um, might be a bit of a bloody, bloody battle here. Cause these two armies just want to get, there's very little shooting apart from that. Yeah. A couple of magic missiles going off. So yeah, they're just yeah. going to meet just in the middle in. and see what happens. Yeah. Mm. That's cool. Um, Daryl Keen did a little weird. No, Darius versus Jeff Orton next. Um, Darius, unfortunately, is probably taking a orc army that I threw together because I thought it was going for his son. And <laughs> that's probably not that hot powered. Uh, who did I say? Or who was it? Jeff. Yeah. Um, so orcs versus high elves. So do you want to read Daz's out? You're always getting the orcs. Oh. Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's running a black orc. Uh, war boss uh, is on a wyvern. Just run on the troll hide. Um, so a little bit, obviously it doesn't have the ward save, but yeah, still, yeah, still pretty good. Um, he's running a night goblin, big boss uh, with war banner on foot. 
um, Remork, uh, another Knight Goblin, uh, Odd Knob, level four on foot, Odd Lamork, running Wah Magic, an Orc Weird Mob um, on a boar, um, Law Familiar, Talisman Protection, Ruby Ring, and Battle Magic. Um, he's got a uh, 20 Black Orc Mob. Um, he's got, what, 10 uh, Night Goblins with two Fanatics. Oh, sorry, 20 Night 20, Goblins yeah. with two Fanatics. <clears throat> 20 Night Goblins, two Fanatics, and seven uh, Boar Boy Mob. Um, running the Wire Banner. Uh, he's got a Giant and a uh, Mangler Squig. Yeah, so it's definitely not a souped up list. I originally did this thing. like, So he asked me to build one for his son, and I sort of just wanted yeah. to do something that had some fun stuff in it and just a couple it of It is fun, units. yeah. Yeah, 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 so it wasn't supposed to be an overpaid type list. Um, however, today I just found something out which makes it not illegal, but I can't do what I told him I did it for, which I thought you could put the Night Goblin. I did it in our game, hung the Night Goblin off yeah. the Black Hawks. Yeah. I don't think you can do it because the Du Bois rule. Is it this one? Um, oh, I can't remember. Maybe it's Night Goblins. It's one of them. I'm not sure you can put... Like goblin night goblins board. in there. Um, yeah. I can't remember if it's a night goblin rule or oh, I have to look at it. I have to re -read, read it again because I heard someone say on a podcast that you can't, and I went, "Oh crap! <laughs> if you can't, I've just <laughs> told him to go and do that because then you get, uh, you know, you get combat res uh, six or seven or something, uh, and yeah, I may have screwed him around. So yeah, I cheated. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Because I don't know if you're going to want to throw him forward with your night goblins. No, you're just going to have to <laughs> hang back and it's a bit annoying. So, yeah, yeah it's going to struggle. Feels, uh, and then Jeff's got, yeah, high elves. You probably know more about high elves than me. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, so he's running Archmage, level four on foot, um, silvery one, Cedar Rebirth, Talisman Protection, uh, Warden Safari. So, yeah, he's, he's pretty defensive. He's running a noble. Uh, full plate shield on a uh, um, steed, uh, blade of leaping gold, pure of heart. Uh, he's running a uh, noble, uh, running a lance, full plate uh, on a griffin with the enchanted shield. Uh, he's got seven reavers, Illyrian reavers. Um, he's running ten silver helms, uh, ten uh, orphan sea guard, ten elven uh, archers. Um, he's running 10 Dragon Princes. That is a big unit um, with the Rampaging Banner. Yeah. Um, 10 Swordmasters, a uh, Bolt Thrower, and a Great Eagle. Lots of little. Oh, wow. Well, I think, it's mm, I think mm. Dad's going to have, actually, this army. Mm. I don't know. Do you reckon, I'd, what would you do there? I mean, I'd be trying to, it's this, because you want to you kill these Dragon Princes. Yeah. And you know what to do them a number probably would be some fanatics. It's almost like I'd shove my night goblins in those dragon princes face to try and do not that they'll move that quick, but he does have arcane urgency because he's got rubble ring. Oh, sorry, he's got battle yeah, magic yeah. and law familiar. So you could probably get these night goblins up there to try and smash the crap out of these dragon princes and then finish yeah. them up with the ball boys or something. The rest of these other little units. Yeah. I mean, most of these, you'd be quite happy to send the Black Orcs and the Orc boar, Boars and the Giant into. Yeah, one of those units is going to have his mage in it. Um, They're just not very big, are they? Well, that's the thing. Nah. Yeah, that's gonna, That's interesting. I'm guessing um, it'll be in the Sea Guard or the, um, the yeah. Swordmaster unit. That'd be my guess. And Probably he doesn't Seager. really have a lot of chaff. He's got one Great Eagle and these... Reavers. The rest of them are like units that you either need to get in combat. Like the Silver Helms will probably have some of the this guy with the on the yeah. horse, um, or he'll be in the Dragon. Oh, can he go in the Dragon Princes? But which sure. one do you? No, but don't you need the? Don't you need that thing? Oh, uh, uh, the called? is that what the Pure of Heart one is? Nah, no. Nah? Yeah, don't you to... need like one of these to go? into the dragon one i can't remember you know hey like it's got the different is it blood of um, Calibur, maybe oh i can't maybe uh i can't remember yeah but anyway sean's yelling at yeah. me right now probably through the computer <laughs> um probably yelling at me too 
I'm just yeah. I'm just thinking. Yeah, I don't know. I think the black orc. Actually, I think this orc list might be able to do some damage to these uh, little elves here potentially. He's got a griffin, but like he's going to have what the silver yeah. homes. I'm guessing the griffin and the dragon prince is probably all trying to do something. Each other. It's not a big scary run. This is actually. I looked at the point two twenty two. Nah. I actually thought this is probably a cool little unit to have. Like, yeah, yeah. Full plate shield uh, with a lance. Um, yeah, like it's obviously yeah, it's not, not your main combat thing, but to like fly around and be that mobile and do some attacks, stomp yeah, attacks. Tough five. Yeah, it's pretty good five, actually for that point. Five wounds. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Little, yeah. yeah, I bet. I mean, yeah, the black or war boss would rip him, rip him apart. I'd imagine um, if you can get in combat with him. Uh, cool. Oh well, we'll see. That'll be interesting to see what happens with that one. Uh, then we have Dad. That was Daz. Then we've got just got a. Oh, this one's going to be cool to talk about. <clears throat> we have da -da 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 -da, a rematch from Belcon. Yeah, we have the winner of Belcon. Dave. Belcon 2, I should say. He probably won Belcon 1. I have no idea. Um, where's Sexy's list? <clears throat> where's James? Sexy. Where's Jim? There he is. There's Jimmy. Uh, so, yeah, do you want to take me to the doors? Because I think it's the same as it was. Yeah, yeah. He had the Envil of Doom with the Mastering of Grumroll, giving him a two up save, which is a really, really good combination. Uh, running an engineer, um, just stock. Uh, he's got his king, great weapon, full plate armor on shield bearers, running the rune of smiting, giving him um, D6, D6 wounds. <clears throat> yeah. uh, rune of preservation, which makes you uh, immune to killing blow and multi wounds, which is really good when you're trying to kill him. It's very hard to kill and that sort of stuff. Uh, he's got a rune of fury, giving him plus one attack. Uh, 10 rangers, 18 dwarf warriors, just great weapons. Oh, and shield, sorry. Um, two units of three gyros running brimstones. So he's got um, two units of eight and dwarf warriors. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Did I say that? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. you might have. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's running uh, a cannon with the rune of forging and rune of reloading. And then he's just got a cannon stock with no runes uh, and then two organ guns. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Faceless list. Yeah, shoot, three. shoot, 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 Very and then spooky. shoot with all these gyros. Oh, and and yep. also some rangers. Yeah, wow. Oh, yep. and the anvil doom shooting as well. Cool. Yeah, <clears throat> and then when you finally get to him, he's got the king on shield bearers smashing yeah. you with his six points. Yeah. <laughs> so again, to like to wipe this unit, you're killing. Uh, yeah, it's the the king. To get that unit, you got to kill the king. Um, yeah. You also then obviously the banners wise, he's probably got banners, banners, banners. Still, oh, does he? Hang on. He's got two banners. Two. Yeah. So they got two. Okay. That's interesting. So um we probably should have probably should have brought up the bloody scenarios and the point scores for people listening who aren't familiar. But it, it's just there's three scenario points. Basically the twenty nil system's not the twenty nil system. It goes to a fifteen sort of nil system for victory points, but three different scenario points are uh, like things add up to five uh on the 20 nil system so if you get three of the special conditions you can get five and if you get two you get three do you and if you get one you get one in yeah. terms of those five points available so the scenario points can be quite big um given that sometimes old world can either be big loss or like hanging around you know in the middle at eight nine nine and eight stuff like that yeah yeah and then yeah jim's i'll do the his list then seems to be yep. goblins. Uh, Night Goblin War Boss. Um, awesome. Look, I've got pictures too of it. I should bring them up at some point. Uh, maybe next yeah. podcast. Uh, Night Goblin War Boss. Uh, one Wallopers, one hit wonder on foot with the troll hide trousers. Fungus wine. Night Goblin Big Boss Battle Standard with the big red raggedy flag. Armor um, Mork. Like, yeah, he's just the, you know, he's a, trying to keep him alive. Uh, Night Goblin Big mm -hmm. Boss on a giant cave swig with the ruby ring. Level four, odd knob, giant wolf to think and what's at, law familiar, wire magic. So he's going for specific spells there and he can roam around uh, on his wolf with the no uh, impetuous. So he can go flying around. Um, interestingly, does he, to think and what at, uh, wipes out impetuous for one of these guys too, which he can hang out with. So I'm assuming it's potentially this one with the boss. So five goblin wolf riders with a boss, feign, fly, and reserve move. So 
uh, these dudes will probably go together, I'd imagine, and he can just hang out, no impetuous, reserved move, uh, yeah. and stay out of range of stuff if he wants. Uh, you know what I mean? Which is pretty cool. Mm. Uh, three units, 30 Night Goblins with Netters and three Fanatics each. Ooh, one of them's netters. got a war banner, so I'm guessing that's the yeah. one that the other dude goes in. So they've got like, they've got a static combat res of, you know, six or something as well, because they'd have Horde. So they can yeah. probably get plus three combat res. Is yeah. that right? And then four, five, six, seven with the big red rag. Oh. So, yeah, wow. Um, and then two like use ten night goblin squig hoppers, two doom divers, and one goblin rock lobber. So he, he's got more shooting than you did in terms of um, these three With things. Range, I wonder yeah. if he, if he's if the doom divers can try and do a little bit of damage. I wonder how they well they went. Like I, I don't know. I can't remember what he said. Uh, he didn't go well. <laughs> that, I think I can't remember what the score nah, was, nah. but he did lose to Dave, didn't he? Obviously. Yeah, won. yeah. I think. I think it was similar to me. Just got just smashed trying to yeah. get over there. Um, I just wonder how he's going to play it. Um, if he's going to, I mean, that's a lot of goblins to try and shoot through. Um, probably. I mean, the do you do what you were saying? Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna play it then. I'm gonna sit back and be good and just sit there and try and Come to shoot. Me. I mean, the gyres can come over and the cannons, but nothing else can really reach him except for the, maybe the rangers at some point. But Yeah, well, right. the rangers have got um, scouts, so he'll be able to put them wherever yeah. he wants. But, I mean, like yeah. 10 rangers yeah. have only got so much power. Um, I mean, his gyrocopters, what are they going to shoot? Are they going to focus on the war machines? Um, you'd think if he sits back, they probably would. Yeah. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'll see. I'm intrigued. It's just interesting. It, yeah, I'm intrigued because they've already played and they've had a result of interest and see, and they're the same armies too. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool to see what happens with the rematch, uh, to see how much yeah. um, changes. And obviously, Dave's good too, so he'll go. Oh well, Jim's not gonna do the same thing, so then I'll have to play it like different. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be interesting. I want to hear what happens uh, with this one. Yeah, yeah. Well. No, well. He could push forward basically, and then I wonder if Dave's going to be shooting his gyrocopters into the goblins, or if he's going to go after the war machine still. Is there any benefit a- here in like? I mean, I don't know if you can. Like, you probably still get wiped out, but like, if you put one of those thirty night goblins two by fifteen and tried to hide the other two behind it, and just push forward. Yeah. So one's getting annihilated. Like, and yeah, maybe even the Wolf Rider mob in front of them. So you just basically have to, he's got to shoot through multiple units. And then when yeah. you get across there a little bit, you, just throw your, you throw <laughs> yeah. your two fanatics, six fanatics out from, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. The problem is you, they're not getting over their suit. Well, I mean, marching column, you're getting over there pretty quick, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you would. Like, but he hasn't got drilled, does he? No, well, you, you, it's just to do the fanatics. You don't give a shit. You almost want to lose. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. For the fanatics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just, I wonder yeah. if, um, <laughs> I wonder if there's an option there where you just suicidal it. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. put one in the front that really takes most of the damage and then two behind it. Because um, the one in front is going to take so much damage that it'll actually get smaller. You might be able to put the other fanatics from the two units behind over the top of the other one. Yeah, yeah. Like if even if he hasn't killed the one all in the front, you just still get there and you put all the fanatics on the, over the top. <laughs> I wonder if you could yeah. do that. Fans <laughs> uh, are good. And then so then really target the organ guns to try and knock them out before you get in range. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's a dumb move, but maybe there's something there. You could try to do something like that. That'd be funny. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Cool. Um, we then have... So now they're all into doubles, I think. So just see what we got here. Uh, we've done Elliot, we've done Ethan. No, we haven't done Ethan Halliday and Keith Williamson. So let's yeah, we do uh, Elliot and Guy. Oh, no. I think we sorry, have. Elliot Cat. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that. Dwarves. You.
Cool. <clears throat> Read me out some dwarves. Oh, you do the dwarves, I'll do the Tomb Kings. Sure. Um, <laughs> cool. So running another engineer stock. Uh, he's running a Thane. Um, <coughs> running what? Great weapon, full plate armor, uh, BSB, Master Rune of Grungi, and the Battle Rune. Um, and the Master Rune of Gromrel. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, he's running the Anvil of Doom, uh, Master Rune of Calm, and the Rune of Preservation. Uh, he's running 17 Dwarf Warriors uh, with Great Weapon Shields drilled, Veteran. Oh, geez. He's, and the Rune of Battle. It's <clears throat> quite a beat up Dwarf Warrior unit. Um, another 14 Dwarf Warriors. Again, Great Weapon Shields drilled, uh, Veteran. Um, five Rangers. Uh, little little dart. Um, <laughs> four Grudge Throwers. Yeah. Uh, uh, with the so well, rune of forging is which one's rune of forging? Uh, it's like the misfire. I think it's re-roll on the misfire. Oh, yeah, fire. cool. Yeah, oh, I was wondering about like that. that because yeah, okay, cool, awesome. <clears throat> um, wow. Yeah. Two iron drakes. Yeah, two units of ten iron drakes. Mm. Sin shoot, blast. Shoot, and shoot, the shoot, shoot, shoot. Yep. 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 Oh yeah, and this. Yeah, this is a. Um, that's lots of shooting. Yes, that's shooting. Sit back, shoot, and um, try hit with those grudge throwers and iron drakes and the anvil until you get too close, and then I'll, you know, I've got some. But yeah, like that's cool because he has it. He's gone that. To, he's gone. I'm not. I'm not wasting points on a massive lord. I thought I mean? there was no gun lines. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's cool. That's funny. That's cool. Uh, then yeah. we have, uh, this will be a, what's called mortuary cult list. So yep. an arch necrotech, which is that initiative and increases. Like I was talking to Sean about this. Well, I'm still confused as to why this guy's good, but I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, high priest level four, one eject cloak of dunes, elementalism, mortuary priest level two, scarab brooch. So I'm assuming there is, yeah, well, I mean, scarab brooch that, you know, they've got their souped up, um, uh, ambusher thing with the mortuary cult, so that's probably why he's got that as well. Tomb Prince, Light Armor General on foot, Headman's Axe. <coughs> I think that's that killing blow one. Eight Skeleton Horse Archers, eight Skeleton Horsemen, Counter Charge, Standard Bearer, War Banner. Uh, yeah, uh, as soon as I saw the Horsemen, now I'm like, oh, 10 Skeleton Art Skirmishes, 10 Skeleton Skirmishes, 43 <laughs> Skeletons with Thrusting Spears. I love that. Um, yeah. but I'm assuming that they don't have poison, do they? Uh, three tomb scorpions, they're going to be ambushing two caskets. I love that, and two screaming two skull catapults. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, they're going to be able to shoot, but what's the range on the caskets again? It's not you mean well for that magic missile thing, it's yeah, the magic it's, missile. it's it's like heaps 36 or something, but you need to fail that leadership test. So you do have the two screaming skull catapults. So you probably could do some damage if you land these two screaming skull catapults. Um, you know, just shoot pretty much same target so that way even when they scatter, it's that whole area will have minus two leadership. Um, and then you hit them with the caskets. Um, oh, you're going to be doing, you're going to fail some leadership tests there for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, his generals probably. The question is, what are you like, shooting them into them? Like the grudge cells? Like, like, I guess. But, but doesn't, isn't it everything within line of sight? So wouldn't everything basically be taking these tests? You think? A lot of things? No, that's sixth edition. This is just like a, a magic missile. It's oh like, yeah, it's D6 plus confused. three, strength six, or whatever it is. Like it, it'll, oh, it does yeah, a lot yeah, of damage yeah. to one big tough thing. A singular, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. well, not, it's not so much tough thing. Like it does lots of hit, so you can hit like you can wipe out like little units of gyrocopters and stuff if you if you get that sort of stuff happening. Um, like it'll blow a grudge thrower out, but that's only one of them. Um, yeah. The only thing I was thinking, depends on where these iron drakes are. If you can get rid of them somehow quick, if these scorpions ambushed over the top, they'll wipe through those grudge throwers. Because the problem with the tomb scorpions ambushing dwarves is when you've got like good artillery behind, <laughs> like the yeah. iron drakes, they just turn around and go see and just shoot the crap out of the tomb scorpion. Yeah. And yeah. so it depends on where everything's positioned. Um, 
you know, he might be able to use that to get in the back and actually, because at some point you start running out of room, don't you? With like four grudge throwers and 10, two lots of 10 iron drakes, they can't be covering everything, I don't think. So maybe they there'll be a little and, hint. They pop up and charge. No, that's the thing. So you need about a pop up and charge next turn. So you need about a survivor turn. Um, yeah. And because the iron drakes can just turn around and just start shooting. Yeah. Um, that it's hard. But if you can get... If they're not near it, like if he makes a mistake and doesn't put them near each other or something, yeah, these guys could get into the back lines or even into like say the amble and stuff. So it just depends on what he does with those iron drakes, I reckon. At least it, that's how yeah. I'd be playing. It, like in terms of if I saw him do the wrong thing, I'd go right. I'm gonna I'm, I'm putting them over there. You know. Um, yeah, yeah. His actual, the actual units here, <laughs> um, and the problem is. This big skeleton warrior blocks me, but it's got no poison. It's not going to do a whole lot unless I'm yeah. missing something. Um, and then these grudge throws are perfectly positioned to just sit here and just like, I know they can raise them back, but. Do you reckon, um, uh, do you, reckon you could raise as many back as what he's taken down? With those probably not. And not with, not with, um, like, why do you want to be raising skeletons back? I, I don't know. Like, you might want to, I don't know. It's, I'm not sure of this list. Um, Maybe I'm missing something, but even the Arc Necrotech, it gives you an initiative boost and six up to like animate. Like, um, I don't think anything gets the extra regen save. Yeah, okay. And let, I might be wrong with that. Hey, let me just read it. Sorry. Um, I thought it was more useful on like, you know, the, um, uh, yeah. So you take, yeah, Venerable, Sharp, the Colossus, Necrosphinx get an extra regen like extra pip on their regen to be a five up yeah and then he's got immortal overseer everyone within his command range gets plus d3 initiative that's the other thing he does <laughs> yeah like, mm -hmm. so like yeah i got crap in it that's why I'm, I'm not sure on this dude like I, I would double them up i think there's a build where you put multiple in in there but i think you need the constructs then to make it like bang for the buck yeah, I'm not sure yeah. about this list. Um, I think the dwarves could take this. It's a bit scary with these screaming skulls and the casket and stuff. It, like if you get some yeah. good leaderships and they fail them, then yeah, for sure there might be some things. And he's doubled up on. You know, he's flying around with elementalism. Um, that's going to help with things like you know if he gets two um, plague of rust and stuff, he can do some. He potentially can do some damage, but he doesn't really have a lot of range stuff. You know. Mm. He's got a couple of, I mean, he does have some shooting, but not a heap. Oh, well, that will be interesting to see. Yes. Uh, and then Ethan Halliday versus Keith Williamson, who, so Keith runs the, um, that channel, doesn't he? The, um, I keep calling it Crouchy Gamers, but it's not that. <laughs> you know, the, uh, what's it called? I'm so bad with my brain sometimes. There's Keith. Crouchy? I'm going to put Keith on the other crouchy. side. Crouchy. I think it is Crouchy. Crouchy. Isn't it? It is Crouchy. Uh, something like that. Who am I looking for? Ethan. Ethan. Here we are. He's taken dwarves too. And I think yeah. Keith's got orcs, doesn't he? Pretty sure. I'd love to play Keith, actually, because he does battle rep them as well. He bat reps them. Oh, all. yeah. Um, so it'd be really good to watch. Uh, yeah, so Ethan, local boy, I'll let you take them. Yes, he's running a king. Um, he's got no stone. Uh, Master rune of uh, Alaric the Mad. Uh, rune of Might. Rune of Fortitude. Uh, he's running a Thane BSB with the Master rune of Grungi um, on foot. Uh, rune of Might. Rune of Cleaving. Rune of Iron. Uh, rune Smith. Uh, full plates and Rune of Spellbreaking. Uh, he's running. 16 Thunderers, 15 Warriors, uh, 15 Warriors, 10 Warriors, uh, what, two single gyrocopters with the steam gun, a bolt thrower. Ah. There we go. All right. <laughs> He's got 16 Hammers, which I'm assuming the BSB is definitely going to be in there uh, with his Master of Grungi. Um, 10 Miners, 10 Slayers, bolt thrower, another bolt thrower. And this is a weird... <laughs> everything. I was just looking at like all these units and they add up to 243 points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, no, so no, they don't. Two hundred forty-three points available. Oh, okay, available, I made a mistake. Yeah. I was like, "What the hell is happening here?" But there's just yeah. so many little ones. One, one gyrocopter, one gyrocopter, two bolt throws, yeah. ten slayers, ten miners. <laughs> that is MSU. That is, and even the cores like that. It's so. Uh, the core is, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. To get points out of this guy initially, like to win that scenario point, you got to take this thane out. Where do you say? What did you say? He's going to hang just one of these dwarf warriors. Did you think? Uh, probably the hammers for the mustering of. Oh, is uh, the hammers? Going... Where's the hammers? I missed them. Oh yeah, sixteen, 16 hammers. hammers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's the biggest unit. So you got to kill the, you got to kill these uh, hammers. Okay, cool. Yeah, you might have a king in there too. There's something with this, like like MSU dwarves, because they're just they're tough, like tough for high yeah. armor, and you got to just you can very rarely wipe them in one turn. So then you bang through that unit, and there's another bloody one getting at you with fifteen dwarves. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's um. Yeah, they don't and, cut and run like they used to. No, so like it's easily just gets swamped with just bodies here, even though they're all like smaller units. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, just the that's the runesmith. That's just a level like one guy or two, whatever it is. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So it's rune lord is the level two. He he just does it like the level one, but he's got yeah. oh forget what rune <coughs> He does have one rune of spell breaking though, yeah. Okay. That's like <clears> a <throat> spell scroll, I believe. It's potentially could get nailed by yep. magic, depending on which ones he runs into there a bit, but oh well. Yeah. Interesting. Uh Keith's That's got cool. Black Orc War Boss on the Wyvern with all the goodies. So the same one yep. that uh Ooh. or that no, just great weapon. Um but that's yeah. cool. I think that's a really good build. Um, Night Goblin Big Boss. Because the, the great weapon, he's also got the plus one, like the better um, – because that you get the chopper rule for that one, you know, so you're getting the better AP yeah. again. So apart from the magical attacks, uh, you're re-rolling ones to wound as well as your arm piercing. So um, mm. it makes it even better. Uh, Night Goblin Big Boss on Foot Ruby Ring, Unlocking Fanatics, I guess, or Weird Knob Level 4 on Battle Magic. And uh, Nycob and Odd get level two on War, which is cool. 18 Black Orcs, sort of standard loadout, more shields, so yep. you get the three up save until you get shot, and then load out War Banner. Um, two units, 30 Night Goblins uh, with three Fanatics, two Bolt Throwers, two Orc Board Chariots, uh, three Orc Board Chariots, and two Doom Divers. Oh, it's so a bit of shooting, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, although, you know, look, Bolt Thrower. They're 45 points. I love when they were 35 because you take four of them because you're yeah. bound to roll a five up at some point. But <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The, um, <laughs> but, yeah, all these Orc board chariots, uh, they all have first charge. So mm. depending on what he does, yeah. that's interesting. Like imagine. Take away, yeah. Yeah. Combat res. From like you. you come up with these units a little, yeah. He does have lots of little units over here, but if you can wipe out the right units, rank bonus, and and then do some damage with, especially if you've taken a bunch out with these fanatics, yeah. Um, because he doesn't have like, you know, I wouldn't. I'll just predict right now what these bolt throws do on both sides. They just whiff. It always seems like bolt throws <laughs> whiff. <laughs> so he'll be rolling, both of them will just be rolling threes and fours to hits and missing and stuff. Um, yeah. It just depends if the shooting, you know, the, uh, what was it? He's got the guns up here, eh? the thunderers and yeah. stuff can do a little bit on the way in. But these 30 night goblins are going to get up there and then release the fanatics, that's for sure. Because there's too many of them to kill them. Yeah. He's running an organ gun too. I'm assuming the organ oh, gun is going to get oh, yes. leather Sorry, on the. That. Either yeah. the Black Orcs or um, the the general, but yeah, yeah he's, I don't know if he's got the kit to take that general in, other than combat res. No, not really. I mean, it's almost like um, I also too think because dwarves are a little bit less maneuver. I wonder if there's. I mean, this is still a pretty big army though, but I wonder if there's a way that you can really try and like skew it to one side and come in on one side so because there's a lot of dwarf units you know like so they have to be like yeah spread out you start bit, you know what I mean? each other because they're so bloody yeah yeah like even maneuver. slayers where they, they're going to be on one flank hanging around and yeah you know maybe the chariot's just got to ram through them i don't know like that i mean they'll get stuck there for a turn that's a problem but um yeah, yeah. chariots are a good standoff like you know are you really going to start putting your flank to a chariot to try and get over the side of the board when you got a yeah. chariot 
Possibly yeah, I know. Play exactly. Play. And it's got third orc crew in there as well. Cav Spears. Yeah. That's a good unit there. It's like tough five, four wounds or whatever it's got. Four up save. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're, they're um, quite versatile. It's one of the better chariots. D6 plus one impact hits. Yeah. Um, oh, and so the other thing that, again, this – oh, that's what it was. It was on the um, – Old world, no, what's the old charm? Old charm podcast, which is totally true. And I, I just haven't played my orcs enough to really delve into this stuff yet. But because they got war band, um, yeah. they also, if the majority of the models in a unit have this special, may reroll its charge roll. So like anything with war band, individual characters even reroll their yeah. charges. So these yeah, dudes yeah. are coming in, even though they're not technically swift stride, they're rerolling their their charge. Yeah. So heaps, yeah, heaps useful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a, that's going to be a good classic Warhammer game, Orcs versus mm. Dwarves. It will. Love it. Oh, we're getting through it. Oh, we, we have a good one coming up. <laughs> Ethan versus, not Ethan, <laughs> Frank. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, now I might have screwed it up. Who was he playing? Or you could oh, you didn't have it in front of you it. either. Hang on, let's go back. Troy, uh, Troy, yeah. <laughs> Troy Kent, mm -hmm. Frank Ansel's army. So he has the souped up Prince <laughs> Star Dragon, Ogre Blade, Dragon Elm, Cedar Rebirth. So is this dude was is, is this dude two plus five plus five plus? Then he's got Ogre Blade. Um. And obviously he's a high elf, so he can fight. So that he's a pretty, it's, yeah, he's a nasty, <laughs> nasty dragon. Um, Archmage. Have you got, has he got a five plus, five plus, or is it just a two plus, five plus? Oh, is it? The, oh, it doesn't have a regen. That uh, doesn't have a ward. No, I don't think so. What's the pure of heart one then? Oh, that's just oh, that's like different. a that's just panic. panic. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. a two up, five up regen. Is that right? Yeah, I think the okay. Cedar Rebirth gives him a follow Yeah, it's the regen. Yeah. Okay. It's such, a, uh, such a good Cedar Rebirth because like, you can put it on multiple units as well. It's one of yeah, those. Yeah, I know. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> level four on Foot Law for me, a Warden of Safri High Magic, and then six Silver Helms uh, with the War Banner, six Elven Archers, uh, 20 Lothan and Seaguard, Thrusting Spear, Warbows, all that sort of stuff, 18 Swordmasters. Drilled, line but standard. I'm not sure what line standard are. does. Uh, seven Dragon Princes and great two Great Eagles. So, I mean, one of these things is, you know, try and, they obviously love to put their, what, their Archmages in and, and go Ethereal with that high magic spell. Hey? Yeah, yeah. Is that generally in the Lothar and Seagar they would do that? And uh, sit back and they're shooting and you can't hurt them? Yeah, it's where I've seen it, yeah, more. Yeah. We'll have to get your army out at some point and play these dudes too, just to get up, get to speed with them. Yeah, no. <laughs> have you played them in Old World? Or was there only six? Nah, that we yeah. I've been, I've yeah, okay. made some lists, but no. I've, yeah, okay. I've oh, I think this is, I don't know. It feels like it's a pretty good um, high off list. It's just, I don't know, like these got the, you know, drilled all over the place. Yeah, you know, like sword masters, the dragon princes. Yeah, okay, they impetuous, but yeah, it's like always be charging, isn't it? With these dudes, you just want to charge anyway. So who cares? You're gonna line them up yeah. against something that you wanna want to charge anyway. Yeah, He's got banner, banner, but at least for this scenario, banner, 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 <laughs> um, and you have yeah. to kill his dragon as well. <clears throat> Two great eagles. Um, it's a pretty good list. Yeah. No, it is. Probably should have got you to go through that. Do you want to go through the Orcs? Sure. Troy is running uh, Black Orc War Bus. Uh, it's his general on a wyvern. Um, bigger, choppier axe and troll hide. Um, he's running a Black Orc Big Boss. Uh, great weapon, full plate armor. He's got the, is the BSB running the big red raggedy flag on a ball with troll hide trousers. Uh, level four weird knob. Um, on a boar, talisman protection, idol of gork, ruby ring, um, running wire magic, goblin big boss, uh, cavalry spear, um, on a wolf with ambushes. Uh, so he's got 14 goblin wolf riders. Uh, he's got three goblin wolf 
chariots. There you go. In a uh, a single unit. Um, he's running. Oh, this must black... be. Sorry, this must be. Is this a? Oh no, that's Black Orc. Sorry, I thought this was um a nomad list for a second, but it's not. I don't think it is. But then Black Orc War Chariot. Ooh, maybe it is because they're all on. Oh, this is annoying. I can't see it here. Um, yeah, I think it is actually. But then I thought you couldn't take Black Orc. Oh, yeah, keep going. Because is that you could take the the Black Orc Chariot as part of your call? No, well, I thought it was only as debatable, but I thought it was debatable that you could at least take it as a mount, but not as a core unit. So uh, this must, this must be, this is a, um, this is a nomad list. Yeah. Why does yeah. it not say it up here? Am I just dumb? And uh, look at Goblin Tribes, but that it all says that. Usually, it tells you the, um, the sub list somewhere. But yeah. Anyway. Sorry, guys, a bit annoying, but yeah. Um, he's running, uh, sorry, six Goblin Wolf Rider mob. Um, he's got a Boar Chariot in special. Uh, six Boar Boys um, with the Angry Lad's Flag. Uh, he's running five Boar Boys. What have they got? Vanguard. Oh, they both yeah, got they Vanguard. Yeah, both got Vanguard. Um, one yeah. of them was the big ones with the De De Angry, Lads, De Angry yeah. Lad's Flag as well, um, which is the Frenzy the special Frenzy, rule. yeah. Um, so I just want to run up. Yeah, and then the banner of butchery, and then mm. black orc chariot. Yeah. Because the all those dudes were up on war boars anyway, weren't they as well? I'm not yeah, yeah. Them, but the other guys were. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and another black. So two black orc boar chariot. Uh, sorry, an orc boar chariot. Two black orc boar chariots. I can't remember what the rules are. Obviously, you can take one in core. Um, yeah. Uh, three goblin wolf chariots in a unit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's very obviously it's the nomadic wire, I'm assuming. So um yeah, yeah. across one more black orc boar chariot required, man. I think some of these new rules that rule validations are probably skewy. Yeah, haven't quite uh, yeah. Moment, so caught know, up yet. <laughs> uh oh well. So what do you think? I mean the thing is the dragon's still gonna be out of its have its way with most of this. Um, yeah. Impact hits, but against elves. <laughs> yeah, scary. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they're very, I mean, and they got counter charge as well. So, like, yeah. a lot of the stuff. So, that's cool. Um, yeah. Because Frank stuff's a lot of, uh, you know, at least the Dragon Prince. Oh, no, he's only, oh, Silverhelm's and Dragon Princes. Yeah, he's got two sort of cav units. Yeah. yeah. She's got so much threat, Troy's list. So much threat. Yeah. And I wonder if you could no. bait the, you know, the um, Dragon Princes out. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But then he's yeah. got MZ too, so. I know. And he's also, oh, no, it's weird because, like, ambushing, like, you know, units of Wolf Rise are going to be annoying, like, Frank. Yeah. But at the same time, if that bunker's back there and somehow just wants to go ethereal anyway and doesn't give a shit. Like, yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah. That'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, yeah. It's going to be a, no, I think it's still a pretty matchup. That is yeah. A good I think it's, yeah, exactly. I think it's like, Oh, not sure. It might just come down to who the better player is. I mean, I know Frank's a really good player. I just, I'm not sure. Um, Troy's been around, hasn't he? I haven't played him, but he's always, Every tournament I've gone to, I swear I've seen him name on the th list, but I've never played him. He's yeah. obviously better than me. Uh, cool. Then we go on to now. I'm just trying to skip all these doubles. We've done, done Gary. Yeah, yeah. Haven't done Gavs. I know. Haven't done Gav and Karen. Ah, oh, different Karen at the moment. Different okay. Uh, let me find that. So Gavin Bateman. And the other Kieran. Da, 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 da. Right, and I'll just bring that back up so you can see what we're doing. Cool. Oh, it's your list. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. I'll hit the I'll hit the vamp. So we're running a level four wizard, uh, necromancer, master necromancer on a mortis engine, uh, skull star film uh, spell from Oreo running necromancy. He's got a level two uh Acolyte with the Scepter running uh, on foot, running dark magic. 
It's got a White Lord BSB with Banner of the Barrows on foot, which means you're going to have a big block of Grave Guard in here. Um, you got uh, a Necromantic Acolyte level two. Jeez, it's a lot of magic there. Mm, on foot, no. and a plus dark magic. Eight levels of magic there. Wow. Yeah. Running a Too Screen magic. Banshee, a Dirge <laughs> Banshee. Um, so Corey's got what 20 zombies, he's got 40 skeleton. Oh, geez, that's big with the screaming banner. Um, 30 grave guard as expected with uh, great weapons, three Vargoists. Oh, geez, and a Vargo. Varg- mm. So stay away from that grave guard unit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with the Gra- Drakenhof banner, <laughs> Drakenhof banner, giving them a five up. So it'd be a five up, five up, five up. Yep. All right. Okay. Cool. And so these zombies are they a bunker for some of these dudes? And they stay at the uh, back then? Yeah. Surely at least. Well, he's, one well, he's got the skeleton warriors though as well. They can probably just hang yeah, out. Yeah, he well. might What's have the, the screaming the banner. Do it's not another scream, is it? <laughs> it's not. Um, nah, it's a. Uh, is it fear? Turns to terror or? Ah, uh, can make sleep. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Fear, Extra D six for oh, the, yeah, interesting. the fear test. Yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah, so not not bad a list. Um, yeah, I think obviously taking the protecting that mortis engine is going to be your number one priority. Mm. Yeah. I mean, he's got obviously the leadership debuffs. I can't remember. Does Dark Magic have a couple of them as well, or what has it got? Because I haven't used Dark Magic a whole lot. It's got Doom Bolt, which is not as good as it used to be, I don't reckon. No. Uh, yeah, the debuff. Good for minus. Oh, Infernal yeah, Gateway to move stuff around, get them out of combat. Yeah, yeah the dangerous terrain one. Target you against Frenzy and Hatred, all enemies. Okay. This is interesting. This Soul Eater, um, is in, I mean, not that you're going to put that guy in combat, but... Um, so, yeah. I know it's only a strength three, but you start getting worried when you're rolling... Um, no armor save. It's only no armor save, but it's just strength three, but multi wounds three. So against the right target. Yeah, um, yeah. It'd be an interesting one to throw. Oh, you wouldn't do it with this guy because he's there's the necromancers, but yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, then we're going up against some ogres. So a tyrant uh on the stone horn. So that's the big dude. Yep. Uh slaughtermaster, halfling cookbook. Love it. Illusion level four. Um that I mean that's that's does this spell eater on oh no, a spell eater acts as defensive a eh? what's the spangle magic res minus two oh, it's still strength minus one magic res is minus two that's so weird um what is the spangle shard wow wow four plus ward Ooh. you don't see much of that do you and then co- increase their command range this spell range and range of their spells Oh, of a single spell chosen by the controlling player, including self spells by three inches. Cool. I like that. That's an interesting little yeah. rule. Uh, yeah. Especially because illusion's quite short range. Um, yeah. So, you know, like, you know, you, my, like my asthma is 15. So you're booting it, to, boosting that to 18 inches. You're really like screwing people's plans up, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, being on a, um, you know, spectral doppelganger becomes an interesting thing just because this guy's a slaughter masters. I'm assuming can still fight if they have to, especially with a four up ward. Mm. Um, I mean, he's not great, but I mean, you know, he's that's always yeah. an option. Twelve nobler trappers, four ogre bulls, uh, um, standard bearer, twelve more nobler trappers, two, oh, two, three. Oh, Jesus, hang on, what's here? <laughs> three lots of two save attacks. Tusk packs and then a five yep. saver tusk pack ambushing. Oh, and yeah. one of the other twos is a scout. Yeah, yeah. So that is look at the chaff, 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 and just fought bulls too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so who's he protecting? Uh, the two iron blasters and Mornfang Cav, yeah. um, which are going to go out and do the damage. Like, go like, what's he got like Mornfang and his bloody general a lot? That, that that's the it, just those two. Yeah, and then the slaughter master is going to hang back with the bulls. And yeah. all these stuff's just going to get in your way. Yeah. A couple of... While the iron blasters are shooting you. <laughs> Can it output enough damage to get through all these, like, raising up people? Or, I mean, probably, maybe. It definitely slowed down that Grave Guardian, it? Um, mm. And then I think, yeah, 
the the biggest problem with the mortis engine as with any of these sort of like lists with the the generals as everybody knows is um yeah you take them down and you're in a bit of trouble yeah um like if this tyrant can uh, get over there but i mean he's got to get over there like it doesn't fly does he i mean Nah, well, he's probably going to stick or... it between his grave guard and his skeleton warrior block, and then he's probably yeah. might just have the zombies behind it. So, I mean, yeah. it might be very hard to get into that. Um, the the necromancer. Yeah, well, it's all well because technically the only thing the necromancer, this army, the vamps care about is the tyrant and maybe the mournfang cav in terms of coming over there. So, as long as you can block them yep. and do stuff with them. Which, you know, you've got some things. He doesn't have a lot of cheap chaff. He's, that's the only thing. He's, just, he's actually just got these. They're all fighty things, really. Yeah. Well, the, the Vargul can get killed, I guess. But, yeah, just, yeah you're going to have to, like, just amble one of them, like, try and get these guys in and just sit there all game and just keep raising them. <laughs> and <hopefully>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be interested to see what these, like, how good are these little saber tusks if they're in a unit of five ambushing? Two attacks each, two wounds. Worm skill four, strength four, tough four. Nothing mm. to be slouched to get about. I mean, yeah, that's interesting. Cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Awesome. Okay, that's going to be an interesting game. Yeah, it will be. be interesting to see how the ogres go. Um, there's some really good 3D prints that I've found. I'm really, <laughs> it's a problem. Um, my goal is to have one of every army, so we can take my time. Okay, we've gone through Jeff. Yep. Uh, we've done Guy. We've done Jack. We have not done yeah, Mr. Yeah. Fury and Jason Bartholomew. So let's have a look at that one. Yeah. I think we're getting close. We must be getting close if we're going to the second column, given that they're all doubled up. Um, and where is Fury? What did they put him under? In terms of, yeah, just can't, cool. Um, well, you do Jason's and I can talk about Kent's because uh, I uh, have played it. Sure. Uh, sorry, do you want to throw the... I'm sorry, man. Thanks for... Uh, so good. I can't help it because I can't see anything. So yeah, have to yeah, I'm trying to... Uh, so it's Jason's like running... It's like a control door. center here, you know? Like a yeah, 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 yeah. Just... Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, yeah. Uh, he's got an anvil. Uh, he's running the, uh, the Rune of Preservation on that one. Uh, it's got a Thane... Um, Running great weapon, master of Grungi again. Uh, he's on shield bearers. Oh, and the rune of battle, um, and the master of Grumrul. So uh, he's got a rune smith. Um, I swear this is a very similar list to one of the other ones we saw. Uh, rune, yeah, well, the thanks. So weapon. who's um, who's the general here? Is, is, is it the Ambler of Doom, dude? No, nah, the rune smith. Oh, because they're all leadership nine. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> right. Well, Thane's 10, but he can't be the general. Is that right? Because he's the best. Uh, oh, no, he's nine. nine. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, running 20 warriors with uh, great weapon shields, drilled, veteran, um, <laughs> all of them. battle. Cool. <laughs> um, so all kitted up as well. He's got 15 rangers uh, running great weapons, crossbows. Uh, he's got 19 iron breakers. Uh, running drilled um, and cinder blast bombs. Oh, that's keen. Um, one gyro, uh, sorry, two lots of single gyro with clatter guns, um, and then two units of ten iron drakes running the troll hammer torpedo. That's the first, second time I've seen two. What do you think about the two units of ten? Because I guess ten's still pretty good because they, they're good units um because they can fight as well and everything hey like they're probably not bad they just end up costing a fair bit of points like would you still be taking the three at lots of five or oh would you be thinking about getting them bigger it's just points really points, I, yeah. I like 10 if you've got like room to put 10 on like the flanks they're very good flankers yeah. as you know yeah um yeah yeah it's just sort of like they can get you know, quite wide because it's such a long time. Yeah, because yeah. you, you want, they all want to be shooting, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. exactly. So, yeah. Although they'll all shoot against large targets within 18 inches or whatever it is. So. Yeah, well, this isn't a bad list because it's kind of like a bit of a, probably you could push if you wanted or you could sit back and do a gun mm. line or a bit of both, like the way that I kind of usually play. You sort of, you've got that option. 
Yeah. 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 I mean, that's the, that's the typical dwarfs, just tanky, you know, trying to get through yeah. any of those two big units. Um, he's obviously souped that's up good. his Thane to be quite defensive. I mean, it's just the BSB, but still. Um, I guess the issue is the runesmith. But, you I mean, you still have to go through a, to try and get him. You'd have to go through a couple of people first. Um, yeah. And then can Stagen Fury's taken a great, great brush, uh, break shaman level four with a hag tree fetish, ruby ring, dispel magic, dark magic, um, a doom bill, uh, talisman protection, slug skin. So what the plan here, I believe now is to make sure that this doom bull hangs off the gore herd. Cause originally there was a bit of confusion, um, where Fury didn't, cause it's only his second game or third game didn't. And I didn't even realize either. Um, he was just seeing the skirmisher rule and thought that was skirmishing yeah. and, and didn't realize you can keep him locked up as an open order unit. Um, yeah. Anyway. So yeah, the great brave shaman level four, the doom ball, uh, a war gore BSB with war banner and then fire two lots of five chaos war hounds, a big unit of 35 gore herd with additional hand weapons and man bane standard two units of young gore herd ambushes, two single dragon ogres, two gorgons, two chaos spawns. <laughs> Apart from the, they're pretty good, these cow spawns. Yeah. Tough five. They only got three wounds, but tough five. D6 attacks, two D6, I mean, two D6 random movement. That's the problem. They're not as quick as some of the other random movements out there. Um, yeah. But 50 points, they're pretty tanky. Anything that when you hit that tough five thing, they're just pain in the ass to get rid of. Like, you just can't just yeah. shoot them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like the yeah. gyrocopters. You can't just, like, shoot them with arrows and go, oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, look, two dra two yeah. little dragon ogre dudes, but also, you know, obviously the two gorgons there. Um yeah. could generally deal with some monsters. Um, obviously flying ones can be a bit tougher if you can't get, yeah. get them. Because these gorgons are only movement six, no swift stride or something, I think it is. So a little bit a little bit annoying. Uh movement no. seven, but no swift stride, like a giant. Um yeah. so yeah. But yeah, this will just want to push as well into this unit. So, mm. do you reckon the Doom Bull will take? Yeah, the Doom Bull would probably end up by the time he's rolled up. Oh, hang on, does the Doom Bull also have that thing he's got to roll up every turn? The the God thing, Gaze of the Gods. Yeah. Yep. So by the time he gets across the board, if he's rolled some up here, he could probably do some damage. Axe of Man's is that the Killing Blow one he's got on him? Where is that axe of men? Yeah, he's got a killing blow. Um, yeah. yeah, I feel like you want to just be pushing this gore unit. Oh man, my browser might have locked up. Oh, it's come back. Um, yeah, and try getting combat with these dudes quickly. <laughs> Do yeah, some yeah, yeah. Vile tide your gyrocopters yeah. off. Um, yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> there's not much magic. Def oh, the anvil's there. So there is a bit of magic. Yeah, the actually. anvil's there. Spell breaking. Yeah, actually, that's... Hang on. So the spell breaking, what does it do? Is that just like a dispel? It doesn't kill the spell, Yeah, it dispel it? scroll, basically. I think you roll yeah. the extra... I no, think that one just... doesn't auto dispel, whereas the normal yeah. dispel, you roll an extra dice, whatever it is. Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, lots of shooting, but he does have yeah. lots of shooting. <laughs> So hopefully you can get yeah, in there. Yeah, that's a huge goal herd. That is a huge goal yeah. herd. Yeah. In the two games I've seen him play, he hasn't been able to get it in into combat, and that's probably like I think in this one he will now. Like I think if he ranks oh, yeah, it up, let's yeah, do Bill in there and pushes it as fast as he can across the table. Um yeah. And if you have that coming in your face with two and next to it's two bloody gorgons or whatever as well, you're like, oh crap! What are, you know. I mean, he's got um, ungors. He's got the. He's got all that stuff that can screen him as he's coming across. So you can't actually shoot. You know, if yeah. you wanted to keep that gore herd alive, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, be able exactly. to shoot. Yeah, yeah. So, ah, cool. But, hmm. Hopefully, he can get up in his first game. Um. Then we've got. Let's see what we got here. We've done Jim. We've done. No, we have not done John and Josh. Ah, oh, maybe I feel bad. Do we do that? Josh is not here to talk through his okay. stuff. Sorry, who was he playing? I just totally missed that. John. Oh, Hammond. I've only played John Hammond. His Empire back in eighth, I think. 
haven't pl- oh this is the brett off oh god i'm gonna be totally unqualified to comment on any of this <laughs> uh josh somehow there's two john hammond lists in this collection or i've imported two so hopefully i've got the right i must have done it twice okay yeah yeah uh john i'll do john you do josh if you want. john's got a duke oh. on assuming the royal pegasus grumble great help seal of yeah paravon her- virtue of heroism prophetess level four royal peg oh i like this on illusion with earth and rod uh damsel level two battle magic on a war horse and a paladin uh battle standard bearer on a war horse with a great weapon 11 peasant bowman six knights of the realm six knights of the realm six knights errant eight knights of the realm two lots of four peg knights oh yeah yeah lots of pegs. that is the army yeah so Josh is also running a Duke on a peg um, with the Grommel Great Helm. Virtue Knightly Temper is running a Prophetess uh, level four on a War Horse with the Falcon Horn. He, um, oh, yeah, step. and that might be very key in this game because I don't think yeah. I see a Falcon Horn in John's list. <laughs> yeah. um, he's running the Green Knight, which he loves now because um, yeah. he, he learned the rules a little bit better. Um, it's got six mounted knights of the realm, six knights errant, six knights errant, 15 men at arms for your token uh peasants. Uh, he's got three peg knights, three peg knights, five squires, five squires, and five grails. Mm. So, definitely that, yeah, you're right. I think that Falcon <laughs> This Falcon Hall is going to play some key here because if you can bugger around with him not bound to get his Duke and his two, four units of pegs when he needs them straight away, if Josh yeah. can um, if Josh can just take them out a bit more piecemeal with his smaller units of peg knights and other stuff or even get yeah, the grails so into some of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only thing is, what's pegs if they can't fly? Are they just like horses? Seven, maybe? Yeah. Barted seven. Yeah, yeah so... It's probably not too bad. Um, they're not bad. Fly, I think it's just that movability, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they're not doing – ah, oh, they're still skirmishes, though, hey? So they still can do 360 line of sight. Like, a, Yeah. yeah. It's, it's probably not as bad as it is for some other armies, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that will be interesting to see what happens there. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to comment on who's going to – Get get ahead. I think they both obviously Josh is a good player. John John is a good player too. Gets around so, um, yeah. Unless you're leading one way or not. Nah, I'm not going to comment on this one. Nah, I can't comment on our on our own nah. one of nah. our own. Uh, Josh then we got jo- yeah John Mc John McDuff and Tim Bevan up next. Uh, yeah, there's still a couple to go. Though. No, there's no. Yeah. Man, we must have a few still hanging around that we haven't got to. Um, oh, Skaven, you might take this one and I'll take the uh, the piles on the other side. Oh, which you can't see because I have not brought it up. Can't see. <laughs> it's because if you picked up on that. Um, so John McDuff is running, uh, Skaven, as you said, is got a Gracia level four on foot, three of the obsidian lodestones, uh, law familiar and battle magic. Uh, we have a Gracia, another one, uh, I'm guessing maybe a level one cause it's not telling me what level, um, mm. unless they come as level two standard, probably or level oh, man, three. Standard. No idea. Yeah. Uh, so he's on foot with the Rubring of Ruin, also running Battle Magic. We've got a Skaven Chieftain um, with Battle Banner of Verminous Scurrying. Um, banner of... Yeah, sorry. The BSB ba- running the Banner of Verminous Scurrying. The Banner of Verminous Scurrying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, 20 Clan Rats uh, with a Rattling Gun. Um, weapons Team, 20 Clan Rats with a Rattling Gun Weapons Team. 30 Storm Vermin with the rattling gun weapons team running the banner of superiority 10 giant rats uh with one pack master um times three so three, three. Ten giant yeah. rats. big 
20 mm. gutter runners. Look at the price of those boys. Um, throwing yeah. weapons, poison attacks, and assassin. A lot of points in gutter runners. Um, he's running another unit of five gutter runners. Um, actually, two, two more units of five gutter runners. Evasive, fang flight, fire and flee, move through cover, scout, scurry away. Man, they've got um, how fast they got heaps of rules. Move. Yeah, yeah, movement but six. You get in combat with them, bar, and they're they're not that good. That's the yeah. problem. And they just cost so much. If they didn't cost so much, they'd be a really good unit. Um, no, they're not ambushes. Okay, ambushes. cool. Yeah. Man, I can hear myself now for some reason coming out of oh, must be stopped now. Coming out of yours, but stop now. Uh what does this grand banner of superiority do? Oh, another plus D three. There's a few of these little mini battle banners going done. around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't, man. I, I so do these guys because you don't have any of the big um bells and stuff, so it's just lots of no blocks of rats basically hey we just yeah. these i won't call them all chaff it's just annoying people that you're gonna have to look out for because they're gonna be bloody you're never gonna combat with them if they do it right yeah yeah because evasive too. also the one you just run away isn't it when you get shot you can before you shoot yeah. you can move yeah 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 you fall back in the <clears throat> order when you get shot yeah and before tim bevan's bringing high elves he's got the moon dragon ogre uh, on a uh instead of the so that, that's it's the moon one the bottom one or the middle one oh, i thought it was the middle yeah middle okay yeah <clears throat> uh so yeah uh prince on on the moon dragon has got an ogre blade dragon helm blood of calador handmaiden in the ever queen with the bow of lauren avalon horn of isha archmaid archmage with high magic is that so they're level three okay <laughs> Yeah, level three with high magic. Okay, cool. Ten sisters of Avalon. Um, it's almost like a themed list here. And then, so she goes, yeah, yeah. the handmaid, and goes in there. Is that right? Yeah, it's what really she, good. She that gives um, them all this horn. stuff. Ah, oh, it's the, the horn, horn, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Oh, where's the horn? There it is, Horn of Isha. Yep. The problem uh, is you got to pass the leash. But yeah. Yeah. Again, to their rolls to hit and rolls to wound. Wow. Okay. It's and only one. got ten. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty sloth and sea. Can she go in the sea guard as well though? Rather than just the have a look like I sisters? think she's gonna go on the sisters. I th okay. think she has to go on the sisters. Yeah, okay. And then yeah, big block of floth and sea guard, twenty sword masters of Holoth, fifteen Phoenix Guard. I haven't seen them. Nice. I haven't seen anyone take them yeah. yet. Eagle claw bolt oh. thrower and the Lothurn sky cutter. Sky cutter. Flying around. Yeah, Good job, Tim. Sky cutter. Love that. Yeah. There's actually um, quite a few bodies in this list with the, <laughs> like, yeah. that, you know, you usually see 80 elves or whatever there's here, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, no cav. So that's yeah. just wizard. Uh, just, yeah, yeah. just uh, what's it called? Just bodies of elves. Interesting. Oh, except the dragon, obviously, flying around. Yeah. Um, hmm. So much I mean, shooting. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. Like, it's probably... They can probably beat up on the Skaven if they're sitting there and shooting, I guess. Um, rattling gun's pretty good, but coming back, yeah. three rattling guns. Wow, there back. is three rattling guns, yeah. yeah. But then, yeah, I don't know. What 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 are these guys got that the Prince, like can this Prince just get in combat in, with these Grey Seers or it's just too hard? Because if you start wiping them out as well, isn't it just the whole army? Or is it as bad as, you know? Orcs and undead and stuff when you kill, chop the head off the. <laughs> yeah, I'm know, trying to remember what the grace is because yeah. they can retire from combat. Um, yeah, is it one of those? Yeah, or they just, and they always still keep their like staff, eh? When they don't. Yeah, yeah. You know, they don't accept the but challenge. Yeah. Once you take the storm vermin, like if you can, you know, if you sort of negate the storm vermin, then I mean, what, what else has he got? Just clan rats. And, Mm, like he's yeah. got lots of chaff. Um, I, yeah. Another interesting battle. Yeah. Because those sword I, masters, Phoenix Guard, will mince anything bar the storm. Yeah. Down. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, yeah. Yeah. Are they big? I mean, the Phoenix Guard are a bit small, but I mean, twenty and then thirty Loth and Sea Guard too. I mean, they're obviously they're probably going to sit back and shoot most of the time until they get up there. But 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Interesting. See how that one yep. goes. And then we have, yep. let's see, uh, double, double. Oh, Kieran Pink versus Sam Allen. We've had Kieran on before. Yep. But he's got a different. Is it Empire he's taking? Oh, I believe he is. Yeah, hang on, sorry, and I'll bring up this so you can see it. And we've got Sam. Sam, I love Sam. He's, oh, I've got to see this army in real life because it looks awesome. I saw a picture of it. He's got the troll horde. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to do the Empire and I can do the other? Sure. Um, so, yeah, he's running a uh, Empire Engineer with a repeater pistol, uh, generally Empire uh, with pistol on foot, sort of striking armor of destiny, running a witch hunter with a great weapon, brace of pistols, mm-hmm. um, on foot with the laurels of victory, a uh, level four, uh, wizard, uh, with the book of Ashur running illusion, 33 veteran sh- state troopers running thrusting spears, light arm shield, uh, with the Griffin standard, 10 missile troops as, uh, State missile troops with handguns as a detachment. Um, then he's running 10 state troops with halberds. Um, then 10 state troops uh, yeah. with handguns again. So um, do you reckon, are they at, oh, that's only one. To ta- okay, so that detachment's hanging yeah. off that. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And two little. And then he's running two great cannons, uh, five outriders. These guys are going to hurt with repeater handguns. Mm. Uh Steam tank, tank and a uh, full blast polygon. Oh it's no, this is not going to go well for Sam. <laughs> I like Sam's list, but I think because I like, I'm gonna, I want to finish my troll, my orcs and my troll hags. Yeah, but I, I don't know about this. I don't know. But anyway, troll hack, two troll hags, um, yeah. one with the ruby ring and troll magic, and then another one, two Ed Batten. Two lots of Ed button ats for the impact hits, isn't it? And then, um, is that what that one is? I can't remember. And then Troll Magic as well. Ogdra's Swamp Digger, level three mm-hmm. with the Troll Magic. Um, and then two lots of four Stone Trolls uh, and two lots of four River Trolls with three more River Trolls and a Bone Grind Giant. Um, yeah. So running across the board, re-rolling their five up regens. Um Mm. and trying to get into combat as quickly as they can before they get shot off the board. Um, it's it's just cannons. a bit like great cannons, oh, five outriders can do some damage, steam tank, hell blast, volley gun, plus the, yeah, I mean, they're probably not going to do a lot, but they still could. Yeah, here and there, yeah. hand, they are handguns, so they are mm. wounding on fours. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, yeah. What do you think? Depends on how fast he can get across and how lucky he is with yeah, his regen saves. Exactly. If he can he save a lot of those regen saves, he's um Yeah, I mean, that's true. He's only got one. Because there's not a lot of flammable in this list, is there? No. Nah. I think so. So if he gets so, something that, it might be good. Yeah. But yeah, if he can take down running across. Hags, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was his other rule that this guy did? Protect boss. Uh, siphon strength, plus one modified for his casting roles. He's also got that. And then troll caller, they can use his leadership. Yeah. Um, yeah, interesting. It's just going to be across the board. I just, um, there's not a lot of other stuff in this list. So, like it doesn't have any like chaff or like other missile mm-hmm. weapons. Oh, he does have Ruby Ring, but that's it. He's only got one thing to shoot anything that's going to stop. Like getting his way, um, he's just yeah. got, that's the problem. Like you could, you know, even just these crappier guys could try get in the way a little. Well, they, I wouldn't say John's got a lot of chaff either, does he? He's just got, yeah. you know, he's got the outriders to try getting the way, but I don't think you want to throw them away all the time. You want to do some damage with them. Can yeah, they do yeah, any fire and flee? Like, they can. Oh, see, they're yeah. just gonna, yeah. Oh, yeah. anyway, yeah. It looks so good, though, the pictures that uh, Jim sent me of Sam because he played Jim last night or the night before or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so we are up to, where are we through? Just did that one. We've done then Lachlan Lard and Steve Gibb. 
Let me find that one. We must have just a couple left, guys, if you're still listening yeah. to us and <laughs> fumble through this. I, the, the thing is, it's not that I know anything about these armies. At least I get to at least see all the lists first. It's made me go. And exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got no excuse. <laughs> yeah, because I have not. Just yeah. the beard. Beard. I don't know if people realise, but I don't actually spend all my day looking at lists and Warhammer, unfortunately. Like I think most people don't either. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, do you want me to hit Lachlan's? So he's running yeah. uh, level four uh, Necro on foot with the Scepter, of course. Spell familiar, Dark Magic. It's quite a common combo. Um, There's a lot of Dark Magic, isn't there? There is. Read up on it. Um, I think it's good for like buffing and debuffing like units. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's good like a. Uh, yeah. um, the Master Necromancer on foot, Spell Familiar, Law Familiar, Dark Magic. Uh, it's got a White Lord running the Banner of the Barrows, which of course means it's going to be running Grave Guards. <laughs> uh, a Cursed Armor. It's got a White King um, with a Lance um, with a Helm of Commandment. So we're going to see some um, some Black Knights. Yeah. Yep. So I got twenty Graveguard running the Drakenhoth banner. Uh, twenty zombies, five direwolves, or oh, just five direwolves, five direwolves, five direwolves. So three units, and, of five direwolves. Another twenty zombies. And another yeah, twenty junk. zombies. Junk. Yeah. Love it. Uh, um, and then he's got nine Black Knights, two units of three Fell Bats, and oh, this is going to hurt. He's running mm. eight. Knights. Ouch. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Oof. The big units, Blood Knights, are good because you, it's hard to get through eight. Yeah. And uh, then you can get them back. Yeah. Then you get so many back. Yeah. That's the problem I've got because I've only got five. You only got five? Yeah. I thought I saw that. Yeah. But 397. That's the biggest. You need to kill yeah. that unit too in this game. Um, yeah. Is that where the white this guy goes or not? Like you don't need to even have him. Oh, uh, he can go, go on the. Uh, yeah, he can go on the black knights. Nice yeah, it gives them a better weapon skill. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. These guys are fine by themselves. Yeah, yeah. well, they got weapon skill five, so they should be hitting on threes. You'd think. Yeah. Cool. And then we have <clears throat> Steve Gibb playing Tomb Kings. I think it's normal Tomb Kings. Um. He's got the Talisman Attraction Ogre Blade on his Tomb King on the Necro Bone Giant. Um, and then he's got a level four skeletal on the Steed with the Heretic Jar, Ruby Ring, Law for Me and Necromancy, and a Royal Herald Battle Standard on a Chariot with the Enchanted Shield and Armor and Metoric Iron. Um, so five up, five up. Not too bad. Uh, you've got to have Skeleton Warriors. He's taken them. He's got another unit of 24 Skeleton Warriors. Um, and then five skeleton horsemen, five skeleton horsemen, three skeleton chariots, one skeleton, oh, the cool little solo chariots, what I do love, and then chariots. three tomb scorpions and two necro sphinxes. So he's got Ooh. three big flying griblies with the three, so he's uh, with five monster slayers, uh, yeah. and then just some junk, you know, just some junk that hangs around. <laughs> like it doesn't, yeah. yeah, um, and he's brought. His high priest is on skeletal steed, so that's the real only use of bringing these five skeletons and horsemen is because at least he can go in there and not and or around probably don't put them in the unit, but you know hang around it and get cover yeah. and, uh, and stuff. And you can go in the unit if you want, whereas you can't go in the unit of the light horseman. Mm. So uh, potentially that's probably why he's done that. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know. What do you think of Lachlan's one? Because it's got, I mean, it's got some combat potential too. It doesn't, like this list, the Tomb King list looks like it wants to take on some dragons, you know? Um, yeah, or else I can't see much that's going to be able to take on monsters. Like he's got, he's got his Graveguard unit, but it's not, it's not that maneuverable. Um, same with his zombies, but he's got so much chat. They both have got so much chaff. It's going to be, who can get charges off and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, what did they do? Yeah. Um, well, they did a B, yeah. Um, hmm. and then, I think it's just uh, going to come down to who's the better player. Like, they both got their strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this... Yeah, I feel like... Um, 
scorpions. I mean, they do have Monster Slayer too, so you don't mind getting these Tomb Scorpions into some Cav if you can as well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. The, you know, it's just what you do with these Blood Knights. I'm just trying to think what this guy, what the Tomb King has has range threat. Um, yeah, you need to combo charge those Blood Knights. If you yeah, combo charge, to, I think he's going to have to go in there with multiple. What's their initiative? Yeah. Heaps. Oh, probably five. I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Four. Initiative. Ooh, interesting. So what happens if you just go in with both Necro Sphinxes? You get the charge off, so you've got initiative four. Maybe yeah. get a debuff off with Necromancy and then try and just like hopefully just kill a shit ton of them. And it's all simultaneous. You're probably going to die or get close to getting smashed as well. What's the actual strength, though, if they didn't get the charge off? Four. Just four. Yeah. yeah. Nah, just fucking smash them with the Necro Sphinxes. <laughs> um, maybe do you that. You need the charge, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, Black you're Knight. flying. You should be able to, but well, you never know because yeah. you're gonna you're gonna hang up. Yeah, he's not gonna get too close knowing that. Hey, ooh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, cool. That's uh, that will be an interesting one to know the result of as well. Mm. Uh, we've done him. We've done so. I think we've only got one, which is Todd Lloyd and Richard Hill left. Mm. Good old Todd. Todd. One of our Patreons. I think he's got his rabbit Bretonians, isn't it? Richard, is that a different Richard than Richard? I think that is Richard. That is I don't Richard. know if it, if it's the Richard yes, I'm thinking of. Yes, who's always at the tournaments and stuff. I think yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hang on. So why have I not seen? Oh, who? Because is this um, the Ungermunger list? Is that the other? I just saw someone. Did I miss someone? Because I saw. Isn't this? Um, oh, that's on. Oh, I can't remember his name now. <laughs> on. On the Discord group, I, we haven't read that one. No, oh, we may have missed. Maybe I Was missed someone. Tim? I don't know. Do we do John McDuff and Tim Bevan? Do we do this? Yeah, we did McDuff. Yep. 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 Karen, yep. you've done that. Mm. Lindsay, yep. Maybe there's an odd, I don't know. Anyway, sorry, I'll bring Todd's back up. Um, sorry if we've missed people. I uh, didn't mean to. Um, cool. What's Todd got? He's got a Hippogriff, uh, Heartland, Upwood Lance. I don't know any of these guys. I just know that Duke's pretty good. Uh, Hippogriff's oh, interesting. I like that. Sorry, it's not on the screen. Ah, thank you. Ah. Awesome. Yeah, so he's got a Duke on a Hippogriff. Um, I guess the worst thing about them is just the maneuverability, isn't it? But... Um, is just a monster, but I mean, it is, it's a bit more souped up 430 points. I don't know how, like, I haven't seen too many people take these hippogriffs, so it'd be interesting to see. It's probably more of a model availability, maybe. So, if you're not printing your armies, yeah, you I reckon they're pretty them. good. Yeah, uh, Paladin BSB War Banner on a war horse. And oh, so you played this list, maybe you should be reading this out. Is it the same? No, no, oh, he's changed it. Yeah, it's changed okay. it. Propertus yeah. level four with a falcon horn. I like that on battle magic yeah. on a unicorn. Cool. Yeah. Uh, 20 peasant bowmen with a defensive stakes. Cool. <laughs> Six mounted knights, 10 mounted knights. That's a big unit of realm knights. Yeah. What's the banner of the honorable uh, warfare do? Bring out any failed to hits against stuff that's cool okay um five mounted yeoman six grail knights a field and a field treb okay treb. so no pegs in this list he's just got yeah. the big flying guy um and he's gonna try to stop people flying i guess yep yeah yeah cool oh uh, it... richards uh so he's running a level four wizard lord he's the general on the war horse law familiar demonology nice um he's got a Master Mage uh, on a war horse with a ruby ring, wizard staff, also running demonology. Captain of the Empire. <laughs> Is this uh, a shooty army? <laughs> quite possibly could be. Um, so, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm surely not. They've got all these things on horses. Um, sorry, <laughs> Captain of the Empire. He's got uh, Lance. Uh, he's running, he's the BSB on a griffin with the dragon bow. Um Priest of Sigma um, on a war horse, Priest of Ulric on a war horse, uh, an Empire Engineer with the Auckland Long Rifle, Seven Empire Knights um, running the Gleaming Pendant, uh, Five Empire Knights, Four Empire Knights, Ten Free Company Militia running 
throwing weapons, another 10 company militia, same, same mix. Six inner circle knights, um, two great cannons, and a steam tank. Mm. That is a lot of characters on horses. Yeah, it is. It's a, like I was trying to work out where, because this one's drilled too. So I'm assuming yeah. if he's got drilled in that. I was just wondering, like, I was thinking, I don't know. Well, maybe you don't put him in here. Maybe this, this unit's supposed to go up the table as quick as it can. Uh, and yeah. it'd be annoying as shit, maybe. I don't know. What's the um, Gleaming Planet do these days? Is that one of those past think leadership? Yeah, I, I'm wondering if this unit is going to be zooming up the board in marching column. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? Like just a yeah, yeah. bit of havoc. Um, yeah, cool. And then the Inner Circle Knights, some of these guys will be in that or something. I don't know. The Priests of Ulrich... Can they go in any of them? Like, there's no rule about, like, the Ulrich dudes have to go in, like, the White Wolf type ones. Is That's not a thing. I can't remember. I haven't read the, well, sure, to but read got, the, the uh, Empire Army lately. They're all mounted, so, I mean, surely yeah, they've got to be one of the be. knight units. The Great Cannon, Great Cannon. So three cannons in this list. A little bit of shooting, but then a lot of magic shooting. Potential mm. to get, you know, like, what's the demonology one? The... Um, not Doom Bolt, what's it called? The their signature, probably the best magic missile. Don't ask me. I had about five GNTs. So. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And then obviously Dragon Bow as well. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely chasing a dragon. I reckon with those yeah. with that setup of shooting or mon monster hunting at least. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the Duke can do some damage here, but outside of that, I'm not sure. Like he's got a lot of. He's, like even just these little shitty units, he can put no one in here and just it's eighty eight points. Yeah, so he could probably get in the way of some things. Because uh, Todd's list, I don't know. What are you worried about, really? I mean, the Duke's hanging around, and the bigger unit buses and the Grail Knights are a bit scary. Um, but there's no big maneuverable peg knights and things. So maybe, yeah. Maybe uh, the cannons and stuff might have a field day. I don't know. And then steam tank. going to be a tough one potentially. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think like you're saying, the cannon going through, a, if he's going to be in lance formation is, I mean, that could really hurt. going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, no. he's got to, he's got to run. Yeah, for Richard, Richard's going to have a bit. I mean, Richard can sit back and Todd's going to have to run up. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. No, cool. Yeah. Well, I think is that do we miss any or is that it? Is they all I think they were all lists. Yeah. I really could tell it. that we knew so much about the game and every and what every list does, hey, and how people play it. You could tell we just wasn't terrible. Of... Wasn't terrible. <laughs> just lived it. So, like, oh, no, I no, struggle no. so hard with trying to like I'm fine once I go through mine and I understand what to do, but I'm just, I mean it's yeah. just time and learning, you know. I can't yeah, be too yeah. hard on myself. I'll get there. It's one reason why I don't mind playing lots of different, like after we get out of castle, I'll play a couple of, you know, different, well, you know, we'll play some games where I'm playing a different army every time just to, just to learn. The more you play an army, the more you know how it plays. But when you just read the book, it just comes in one ear out the other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Played it, oh, so. It's too bad ASB's phone overheated because he had his, um because we were going to go through the, the list, weren't we? The, um. He had his best army. S tier thing. Yes, page. he did. We'll have to I'll um maybe we'll catch him. We'll we'll do some podcasts. We'll catch him maybe yeah. on the front. Maybe we can do something on the Friday. Oh, who knows? I don't know. I'm sure we'll do some more. But yes, ASB did say he was gonna he can put it on the comments tomorrow. Um <laughs> what he thinks is the best list uh yeah. at the tournament. So that will be interesting to see. He uh he's definitely got a little bit more Thinking a few steps ahead of me at the moment. I'll get there one day, but yeah. Um, I'll, my kids are about to leave home. So like I said, one of my goals in life is to spend a whole year playing Warhammer and getting good at it. Well, <laughs> white, red, ASB's kids are going to primary school. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the only way I'll be able to beat him. <laughs> be yeah, five years bit. time. Yeah. I want to see your matchup. I wish I wasn't playing and I could just watch it. That would be so good. Uh, I'm just looking forward to learning some stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we will see. Well, hopefully I can roll lots of sixes. 
question yeah. is they'll probably also have to get him in range of his uh either his steam tank or his uh his griffin the large targets for the my my shooty dudes but we will see the eight thousand. Never know. Shot. i just want to take i just want to take some points off him i don't know if i'll that's all you know you want to be able to put take some points yeah, I think Even your list like your an eighteen two. Yeah, he's really good <laughs> against certain lists. Like it's, yeah. 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 so I think I think you're going to do well in some matchups. Mm. We will see. Mm-hmm. Cool, awesome. Okay, well that's a long one, but we knew it was going to be. Um, hopefully, people. Oh, look, I don't think everyone's listened through it. They'll probably just use it while they're <laughs> trying to finish painting for Castle Soul or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah, but with those lists, as you saw them come up, if you were paying attention, guys, um, yeah, definitely the comments on the things we, the 50 things we probably didn't realise were the synergistic things on the list that we just brushed things. over because we have no idea. Where should um, we begin? I will put the, if I remember on the show notes too, I'll link the lists and everything. So if people do want to see what people are bringing to Castle, um, I'll put all up, up as well. But uh, other than that, we'll let everyone get back to their day. Um, yeah, if you uh, somehow stumbled on this, oh, he's painted his undercoat. They're black. They're black. <laughs> the new bats. Uh, yeah, if you're, um, if you, if this is new to you guys, jump over onto our uh you know youtube and hit the like subscribe as well and we do have a podcast out there on uh, all the apple feeds and spotify's as well so if you want to jump on that as well uh and we do have a patreon over at patreon.com slash old world fanatics if you want to check us out and give us some support yes. there much appreciated so Very we'll try. Appreciate anyway andrew we will uh if i don't see you before friday saturday or whatever it is i'll i'll see you then because I, I might try catch josh if he gets here early enough even if it's just for a quick beer or something i don't know but uh, it depends yeah, on what's happening. Yeah. I know you're pretty busy. So all good. Oh, I've got so much to paint. <laughs> yeah. You're, yeah, for those who know, Josh is driving up from Melbourne, uh, so he'll be here on Friday. So we'll probably do a podcast in person, maybe, if it works out. We'll see how we go. Mm. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to oh. close it off, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. So, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.